Hey, hey. Clock in. Hey, what are you doing? Clock in. It's time to clock in. This is, it's time for your shift. You're gonna sit down. You're gonna watch this class trial and you're not gonna go anywhere. If I gotta sit here for two, two hours. Two hours. Then you do too. And Scrub Chance sit here too. No, don't do it. Okay? You're gonna sit here. All right? Grab your popcorn. Grab whatever. Grab a can of green beans. I don't care what you use for a snack. Grab it. Because it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. We are on the second class trial. Can't believe we're here, guys. The second class trial. Uh, spoilers are coming. So, if you did miss last episode where we did the investigation where I got all big brain, uh, be sure to check it out. Let me load this crap up, but I know, guys, we, we, we've gotten off on the wrong foot, you know? So many of you in the comments have broken thumbs, and again, I, I feel so sorry for you because there's so many people with broken thumbs that just won't smash like. Uh, so instead, how about this? I suggest hitting the like button with your nose, like, like so. Like that. Like that. Instead, I'm gonna ask you guys to take a video, put your cell phone in your freezer, because that's how cold you are for not liking this video. Oh! Send it to me on Twitter. I expect it soon. I just wanna see how far you guys will go. And if you don't do it, you won't get next episode. All right, first things first, we need to come up with a prediction. Right? We did the investigation. I used my two brain cells to figure it out. But I have a prediction. That's always very, very important. Who did it? Why'd they do it? I'm about to decipher this right now. I will tell you who freaking did this murder. Maki, let me tell you right now. Too obvious. Way too obvious. That's that's the easy way out. I'm gonna say who it really is. Angie? Maybe. To me, this would be the most logical one because she had so much to do with the murder. Again, she was so close to the murder when it happened, right? But she is also extremely way too obvious because she was literally the, the closest one when it happened. But I'm going to go on a limb and I'm going to say final answers without a doubt of, without a doubt in my mind. It's got to be between Korikio, Kaito. It's one of those. And it's most likely going to be Kaito. It's it's going to be Kaito. Watch. I really... I, I, am I right about this? It's just we've spent so much time with him. It's time that he dies, right? That's just based on us spending time with him. That's why I think he's going to die. Just based off of uh, old patterns. But if not, then it's definitely got to be this, this dude right here. He's obsessed with ropes. All right. Am I right about Kaito? Let's ask someone. All right, Eevee Bot. This is all on you. Did Kaito... Do it. I do. Very sus. Very sus, guys. Are you a boy or girl? I don't see what that has to do with anything. Are you following me? My guy, get away. And bro, where we go? He's standing there. All right, it's time to click the buff Monokuma statue once again. Woo! Woo! I'm ready. Ready for this. I wonder if they're gonna they're change the class trial grounds, or is it probably always gonna be the same? How does- how does Monokuma get the time for all of this? Get a good look of him now, boys! And girls! <laughs> because, uh, one of these people is not coming out alive. I feel like I'm on Survivor. Oh, no, it's the same. Alright, well, we'll take it. Welcome! <laughs> You've hopelessly arrived once again! Did you want to come here again because of how wonderful it is? Isn't it wonderful? I put so much effort into building this place. It should be a monument. Aww. Actually, we're the ones who use the ex existence to build this courtroom, but Father just took all the credit. Wonderful. He's evil after all, but I am happy to be used as a slave by Father. What are you saying? It is really committing to this henchman bit. They are so you guys are just so cute. I can't help working you to the boat. <laughs> <laughs> you put a lot of elaborate detail into this courtroom, almost like it's for show. Oh. For show, huh? That's an interesting way to put it. Mm -hmm. It's just for show. Are you showing this to the people outside and... <laughs> These people aren't with us, so you don't need to worry about them. Get it? They're not with us, as in they're no longer with us. You know what I mean. <laughs> they're hey, dead. Um... In other words, you 13 are the only ones left in the world. In the world? I don't know about that. Now, show me just how you intend to bargain for your lives. <laughs> evil. Evil bear you. Then the class trial began. Ugh! Ryoma! Some of you guys, I, I read a few comments. I, I, I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't, but I do sometimes. Don't worry. I, I promise I've not been spoiled whatsoever yet. But a lot, I, I did see that some people were really sad about Ryoma. For some reason, you really liked him. This is for Kaede! Ah! All right, keep in mind, we gotta review this one more time. The victim is the ultimate tennis pro, Ryoma Hoshi. The victim's body was discovered in the gym. The cause of death was drowning. Afterward, the victim's body was consumed by piranhas until only the bones remained. The drowning part's gonna be so... Yeah, he was obviously drowned in the other pool. Or no, not in the pool. He was drowned in his own room. But that's gonna be very important. I can just see it. Ahem. Now then, 
let's begin with the basic explanation of the class trial. <laughs> that one really is dead. Holy crap. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who, who did it? it. Vote correctly and only the blackened will be punished. But if you... I'll oh. punish everyone right. besides the blackened. And that person will graduate from this academy. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Monokuma's voice is fixed now. Also, refusing to vote will result in your death. So you better vote for someone. Now, let's get this crazy, awesome, crazy awesome to the max trial. Ooh, underway. I hope this is anything like last trial, man, because that was we crazy. We all know who the most suspicious one is. Yeah, they're yeah. gonna jump to freaking. Let's yeah. our power and work together. Everyone. Tenko's gonna simp hard, though, um, for Himiko. The person who's most suspicious is... Now let me your energy, everyone, <laughs> so we can catch the culprit. She won't let him say it. Because the murder happened during the magic show, the culprit can only be... Yeah! I'm in top form today! Tenko, why are you interrupting me? We can't have a good trial if you talk over me! That's coming from Kokichi. Huh? I'm not interrupting you! Whatever this you is have so funny. to say is probably worthless anyway, because all males want to talk about is S E. S E what? Uh, Himiko seems suspicious. <laughs> Angie? Ooh, well, it's like it's like her best friend betraying her, basically. Hey! Angie, how can you accuse Himiko? Aren't you her friend? Um, I'm just telling you what well, you, is doing. You, recru you recruited her to your religion! He and you're <laughs> so his messed up. I know to show us the way to survive. You should thank him, lest he pour his holy wrath upon you all. That's what I'm saying, like, Screw I think Atua. that's why she's a suspect. That guy's got nothing on me. Because she seems like Atua's, like, uh, I'll thumbs off. Himiko. But it does point to Himiko being the most suspicious. Ryoma died during Himiko's magic show. His body appearing in the water tank leads one to think the escape trick played a part. Yeah, but I just feel like if it's Angie, that's too obvious. And it'll make me mad, but it's like, it probably is, but... It's only natural we suspect Himeko. She was the one performing the trip. No, that's wrong. The underwater escape wasn't a trick. It was magic. But yeah, I'm not going to try to apply logic to this. I'm just going to say it's freaking our best friend uh, guy. It's not Kaito. the part you need to deny. Kaito, you gotta I tell us you're not the culprit. Magic, huh? That's so cool. What a mysterious miracle. Now, did you kill Ryoma, Himiko? Atua will hear your confession. She's Stop acting it. really sus, There's though. There's no way any of that is true. It's true, though. Himiko used the underwater escape trick to kill Ryoma. Too obvious. Come on, guys. But I still don't have a clue how Himiko did the trick. Th there's no trick. That really was magic. You know, maybe it really was magic. <laughs> why Why does she randomly talk in smart sentences? Oh, stop it. If you don't reveal your trick now, then we'll vote you as the culprit. Stop picking on Himiko! A cute tiny flower like her couldn't kill anyone. Like, okay, and then there's all- I mean, there's a small chance that it could be Tenko. I, I don't know how. Maybe- Okay, this is gonna be totally left field. But the only way Tenko- could have done this murder is because the game is also like showing us that she is a big a huge simp for Himiko or at least wants to protect her in some shape or form you know however I, I don't know the relationship but she the way that she's acting you know whatever maybe she suspected okay this is speculation maybe she suspected that Ryoma was gonna reveal Himiko's magic trick and prove that it wasn't actually real magic but just like a you know something that a magician would do and maybe she caught on to that and killed him because she hates Mel's. What do you have to say for yourself, Tenko? I get Just saying. That you want to her, Is that not? But that might be a bit much. Just saying. As I expected, the others suspected Himiko. But I have my doubts. Oh, yes, I do too, Shiwichi. The ultimate detective. It's always up to me. All right. We got this. Just got to hit him with them flax. Flax. <laughs> them flax and logic. That's what I was gonna say. Atua has blessed me with an epiphany. All right, what do you want me to say? The culprit used the underwater escape trick uh -huh. to pull off a sneaky switcheroo with Ryoma. Uh... After that, the time ran out. The yeah. tank about Ryoma opened and piranhas came pouring out. Yes, that's true. Save 
stay alive. Piranhas. <laughs> Savage way to go. Well, no, no, he wasn't eaten alive. Yeah, he wasn't eaten alive. The Monokuma file said that he was drowned. Okay, so that's that's where we that's where we gotta. Okay, I know what to do. No, he wasn't. That's wrong. He was already dead. Objection. No, Ryoma's death was not caused by the piranhas. Yeah, you dumb idiot. The Monokuma file indicates the cause of death is drowning. So it wasn't the piranhas then. He was drowned. Ooh, I see. I haven't checked the Monokuma file yet, so that's news. Yeah, a lot of these class trials, like a lot of the parts of the class trial is a complete waste of time, and it's just to just to have time. Like you lying little brat! Telling lies is what turns you into a degenerate male. I thought he was already so a degenerate male. Everyone is. Ryoma drowned. Himiko changed places with him, and then the piranhas ate him. Right? No. Himiko only had 60 seconds to escape from the tank. Even if they changed places at the start of the show, <laughs> that's insufficient time to drown someone. Now, he was clearly thrown in the piranha tank and let out. That is, I'm standing by that. If that is the case, then when did he drown? He was wrapped. He must have been wrapped up. Or I don't know how the piranhas did not want to eat him, but maybe they maybe they couldn't move. Maybe maybe somehow the tank was so full that the piranhas couldn't move. I, that's the only thing I can think of. All right. Uh, speaking of when did Ryoma drown? Uh, during after the no no before the show started. That's what I, that's what I'm that's final answer. That's it. Yeah. Ryoma was already drowned before the show started. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Because I, I did it. <laughs> Before being eaten by the piranhas, he made no attempt to escape uh, the no, water. No, he did not. He, he, he was just lifeless. He made no movements whatsoever. Yes. By that point, he had already joined the ranks of the dead. Yeah, the literally the only thing that Does makes that, that guy sus. His body was hidden until the culprit made it appear in the, the tank. Only, the only re reason why I think that he's sus is just because he he talked about the rope and and he knew exactly how long the rope was and that was also really important to tie up, uh, to know exactly how long a rope was uh, to tie what's his face up. And he he said he was really good with ropes and that was a really funny, uh, well awkward moment in the game when he said that. Hidden? Where? The culprit would have had to hide the body near the tank and then show it during the act. Easier said than done. Was there a place on stage where the culprit could have hid the body? No, no, yes, oh, yes, yes, well above it. Himiko should know since she performed the underwater escape trick. Himiko, why won't you just explain it to us? Because it's magic. She's no, really annoying me though. It she really won't say was it. was magic. Shut up. Himiko is committed to her act. But those who deal in dreams are oft liars. Why is everyone still picking on Himiko? You're all worse than a drunk dad's ramblings. We should let him vent. After all, it's tough being the man of the house. Man, we gotta figure out how the trick works to find where the body was hidden. But Himiko does not wish to tell us how she performed her act. Well, there's just a, it's just a trap door. You just escape. It's that simple. Then let's work together to reveal the secret behind Himiko's trick. So, not real magic? No, it was real magic. 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 I don't know, though. This game might pull some oh, random crap, no. though. It's Himiko's curse! Her curses are really <laughs> powerful! There's a reason why she's so attached to Himiko. Aren't incantations usually more, um, complicated than that? Anyway, we need to, yeah, how'd she do the trick? Uh, we have evidence for that. Let's, yeah. We already have evidence for this. Yeah, How water tank. How did escape the water tank? Yeah, water tank trick right there. Let's see. Maybe she just climbed out and no one noticed. Nah, she yeah. definitely would have been caught. Perhaps the mechanism was set up on the stage. Okay. The curtain covering the tank was certainly suspicious. What about that square pane of glass we found in the tank? Maybe the tank had a secret hatch. Yes, exactly what it. It must be real magic. Yeah! Real escape magic! <laughs> Maybe there were two Himikos. Oh, that, yeah, sure. Sure, that was it. And one of them was Sumugi in disguise. She can't do that. Hey, We've already went through this! Aren't disguises. <laughs> Come on, guys. Yes, that should catch. be the answer, yeah. Wait, no, don't put a lie. What? I agree. What did I just do? Okay. Alright, I did it. I did something. 
Maki is correct. There was an escape hatch on that tank. I see. So it did have one. That's right. I discovered a similar tank in Himiko's lab. That's okay. I'm really glad this worked out because I accidentally did that. Side that could open. That was her escape. Mind over strength. <sighs> Oh my god, this tricky girl, man. She she should no, not be on this jury. She's obviously wrong, co completely biased. Hmm? What do you mean? And you don't even know why you're wrong either. Typical degenerate. You male. can't just blame everything on guys. It doesn't work. I'll smash in your face with my fists of hot burning steel. All right, all right. Gonna slap her in the face with some logic right now, boy. Doesn't have anything to do with Himiko's escape. She didn't use an escape hatch. Oh, yeah, I she know did. she didn't do that. So what's she do and then? Now I'm gonna punch you. Okay, yeah, you're stupid. You're stupid. Shut up. Wait a second. Before you punch me, <laughs> what makes you so sure she didn't? Good, 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 good answer. Good answer. Shall we cheese? If she escaped from a hatch, <laughs> like my family the feud. The water would have gushed out with her. It did. There would have been water everywhere. Oh crap, I, I obviously didn't put the right thing. We, we have evidence for this. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! There would have been water everywhere! There we go. Hey, cut! Cut through your words! Get him! There was a reason the room wasn't flooded with water. The staircase that was attached to the water. Yeah, I think it's above the water level, so it wouldn't like drain out. But it would still get a little wet from Try the person who climbed out. The staircase was positioned. It was aligned perfectly with the tank's escape hatch. Meaning, the water tank was connected to the inside of the staircase. Yeah, that actually makes inside a lot of sense. Staircase. His body was in stairs? Knowing that, it's clear how Himiko made her escape from underwater. There was a curtain covering the tank during the performance. Allowing Himiko to enter the staircase from the hatch undetected. Any water that spilled out would have simply funneled into the staircase. So how do you get out from the staircase? There's gotta be a door of some sort. Yeah. The staircase also has an escape hatch. One facing away from us. It's placed so that the water would not... Oh, my bad. ...drain from the staircase. In which case, a person could exit and leave water inside the staircase. However, that person would be soaked. Meaning that some trace should be left. That would explain why there was a puddle around the stairs. So when Himiko came out from the stairs, her wet clothes dripped water all over. Yeah, she would have been wet, right? Or was she? I don't know if we... Ah, <laughs> bitch! Caught you soaking wet and red-handed! <laughs> Alright, come on, Miyuko. <laughs> a, little, a little strong there. Oh, what do you have to say for yourself, Himiko? Judging from Himiko's reaction, you hit it right on the bullseye. But Himiko's clothes should she must have been changed. wet when she left the water tank. Behold the magnificent underwater escape! Maybe she spurred herself with that uh, 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 anti-water stuff? Not wet. You ever seen that? Maybe she did. Of course. That's because my underwater escape wasn't a trick. It was magic. No, I know. She wasn't wet because water doesn't get wet. Yeah. Water's not wet. No magic <laughs> No magic had nothing to do- you guys are screaming in the comments. No magic had nothing to do with why her clothes weren't wet. Uh, she never went into the water. She dried off quickly. She- she must have changed. I don't think she was never in the water. That's it! That would be impossible. Unless she's... Jesus. It's because she changed her uniform. The dormitory is stocked with uniforms. Did you hide one behind the stage in advance? You don't want to say. I remember seeing Himiko go to the gym this morning. Carrying a uniform and a towel. What about her hair, though? Like, how would you drop your hair? Ah, why would you say that? I see. She had a towel, too. She may not have had time to fully dry her hair. But her short hair and hat ensured we were none the wiser. Himiko can't get wet! Because her body repels water! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I was right! Huh? Like a duck. She's a duck! <laughs> Himiko, come on. Give it up already. Fine. You win. Finally, my god. It's just like you said. The water tank and staircase both have mechanisms. I'm sure she's gonna have some traumatic backstory of why she doesn't want- she- she doesn't like water. <laughs> so I was correct. It's every Danganronpa character. 
But, but that doesn't mean I use them. Or that she, I don't know. I didn't need them. Shut up! Oh my gosh, she's so annoying. Again with the magic crap. Were you dropped on your head as a kid? She probably wasn't. That's probably part of her backstory. Now that we understand how the trick was performed, let yes. us move on. Let us proceed. Where did the culprit hide Ryoma's body? From our discussion earlier, his body could have been in the space inside the staircase. They're gonna go through this two hour class trial when he's just above. That's all he was, he was just but above. That's where Himiko would escape from, right? So Himiko went in the stairs with the body? What kind of kinky shit is she into? I know, right? That Come on. seems unlikely. There isn't enough space for two people to fit in there. Yeah, I, I don't yeah, buy that. Yeah, the stairs are pretty cramped. It'd be hard to fit even Ryoma and Himiko in there. Who says they were small dude, though. She could have made the switch as she was leaving the tank. I mean, you know what? Like, that that's a good point, actually. That That is totally plausible, I think. I think. That, that, At the same time, yeah. she could have pulled out the body from inside the stairs. That seems like the, the easiest way, really, but... That way, she'd have room to put herself in Although, there. I'm gonna say she's not strong... how easy that she, is? Yeah, she's not strong enough to do that. That's what I don't think. But he was, a, he was a really small guy. I think that explains how Himiko changed places with Ryoma's body. Wait a minute! Why did you automatically assume it was Himiko? Who else but Himiko could have done it? Ooh, she doesn't want to say something. Angie, you spent more time with Himiko than any of us, so why are you accusing her? You may think you're protecting Himiko, but what if she really is the culprit? We'll all die, and it will be all your fault. Atua will lose precious devotees. Yeah, we need to know why Himiko was so depressed before the murder. That That's going to be a key as well. Are you okay with that, Tenko? I'm totally fine with that. Why? Why? I don't care what anyone says. Himiko would never murder someone. That's what I believe more than anything. Uh, they must have had some sort of uh, interactions that we don't know about. I want to believe in her, no matter what. If I can't do that, then I'd rather just die. That's, that's a so until old this words body here. takes its final breath, I'm going to keep believing in Himiko. Well, I mean, she's so adamant about her not doing it. Maybe she did do it. The only one who could have switched out Ryoma's body is okay. Himiko herself. Uh, hmm. When Himiko was escaping the tank, she dragged out the body hidden in the stairs. No, this can't be right. And simply switched places with it. Are you telling me you saw that happen? No one could have seen that. Hmm. It would have occurred in the middle of the show, when the tank was covered with a curtain. So basically, no one saw anything. No. I, I didn't do it, I swear. Ryoma's corpse wasn't in the staircase. Oh, quit lying, you donkey lip con artist! <laughs> what kind of insult She's is not that? Lying. Uh, I believe that. She's not a con artist, and she doesn't have donkey lips! <laughs> oh, God. I I'm pretty sure Gantz's account is the answer to this. I just don't know how. Oh, right, no, here we go, here we go, right here. No one saw anything. There we go. Gantz did. That's wrong! My boy Gonta. Someone did see inside the tank. It was Gonta. Gonta had climbed onto the stage and was looking into the tank from above. Isn't that right, Gonta? Yeah, Gonta saw down into tank, but saw no one in there. No one was in there? Yeah, no one. Guess that clue no good, huh? Oh yeah, so that 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 confirms it that he definitely fell from the tank. But the question is, why didn't they eat them? Either they were squished up against the glass too much, they just couldn't move. That that had to have been it. I don't see any other option. No, or he was wrapped in something. Clue. But if he was it's wrapped not. in something, how did it? How how? Why wasn't it shown? Right? Why why was it he shown and wrapped in something? And you know, shouldn't we seen some sort of clue if something was lying around? Uh, we did well. We did see something kind of in the in the pool, but I don't know how that would be related because he would he was in the tank with Bronis. If Ryoma's body was hidden inside the staircase, Himiko would have had to pull them out before she went inside. 
There certainly wasn't enough room in the staircase for both of them. But that means, if the tank was empty when Gonta looked, Ryoma's body must not have been hidden in the staircase. Yeah, she got in there fast then. What if they squeezed into that space with Ryoma's body to avoid getting caught? Nah. She had no need to worry about us witnessing her at that point, for the entire stage was hidden behind a curtain. To all but Gonta, anyway. Then the culprit never would have considered hiding inside the staircase with the body. Entering the staircase after moving the body is much faster, and seems more rational too. Then Ryoma's body wasn't hidden in so the So you're saying if, if, if Gonzo wouldn't have been up there, no one would have been able to solve this case. Someone better say where the fucking body was hidden or I'm gonna start cutting throats! Okay, Miyu. Alright, let's just tell him it's in the stupid case. Where were you hiding Ryoma's body? We're on a take. I got it. It Shut wasn't up. really in the stairs, was it? No, ma'am. After all, there was only enough space for Himiko. Yeah. Well, how about behind the curtain? If there was a way to enter the tank from there, then it would be plausible. Or maybe the body was in the tank all along, but we just couldn't see it. Impossible. You'd need top-notch visual effects to pull that off. And what of the tank containing the piranhas? Hey, there you go, dude. No you got way. it. If you put a body in there, the piranhas would have eaten it way before we saw it. But if the body and piranhas were separated... Crap. I'm glad you agree, but how could how could they have been separated? That's what I want to know. It oh, a square wasn't. glass pane. Yeah. Oh, maybe there was a divider in there. That... Okay. Well, yeah, there was a square glass pane. Pain, but I would have assumed that okay, it's that all right. Maybe I misunderstood how the whole contraption works, but that was After definitely all, was only... okay. That's it, that's the answer. Yeah. Then I agree. Yes, I agree. I like that it at least gave us a hint though that we were on the right track. That was kind of cool because sometimes it's, it's hard. This is correct. The body and the piranhas were separated. This I had never considered that though. That that was pain that, found in the tank. That's everything. <laughs> Just as I thought. Yeah. Using that glass pane as a divider, a safe space could be created in the tank. It is and a covering space that the body could be stored, separated from the piranhas. And that means Ryoma's body was hidden in the piranha tank the whole time. So, Ryoma's body fell into the water tank with the piranhas? Gonta knew it! What is it, Gonta? Gonta was above stage when piranhas fall. That's why Gonta sees something no one else could. When piranhas fell, Gonta sees some big what? thing fall into water tank. Gonta, this is what you say beforehand! I, and I knew it anyway. I saw the picture. It looked like it. I just, I didn't know if that was like the art, like being weird, you know? I don't know. No. Now that going to think about it, going to maybe see Ryoma's body. Going to traumatize. When the piranhas dropped from the tank, I thought I saw something bigger drop as well. I mean, really, Karumi? How come no one wants to say these things when the it's so important? The water tank on important? the bottom is made completely out of glass, correct? You can see what is happening through the glass. Can you really hide a body in the, the tank? Piranhas, the piranhas, shut up, piranhas. Even in murky water, a dead body would. Unless a certain something was. All right, I'm just gonna skip what they the say because I know the answer. It's it's so something. obvious. Pramperon is final answer. This is it. It was the piranhas. The piranhas were obscuring the body. Huh? The piranhas? That's right. Remember what Angie said Why she during surprised? the investigation? All right, yeah, she just talked about it. They increased that significantly? I didn't know piranhas <laughs> fuck like rabbits. Can you stop? It seemed that way, but it wasn't that the actual number of piranhas increased. The glass pane divided the tank nearly in half, right? The piranhas got crowded together, making it look like there were more of them. The more densely the piranhas are packed, the harder it is to see past them. So, you know, actually, now that you think about it, it's completely possible that he could have been drowned in that piranha tank as well, you know? But most likely, it was it was in his room where the scratches are. That makes more sense. But this could have been because it. Because of that, it was difficult to see the body hidden in the tank. That glass pane was the lid from the piranha tank. 
it was really easy to detach that lid. So it's no wonder they used it as a device. Oh, so it- Oh, so it was the lid. Okay, that makes sense. Hey, thanks for telling us that useless detail. What the heck are you saying? That detail was super useful! Sure, the lid looks a little big, but if you set it diagonally, it would fit perfectly. Oh, how would you know that, Tinko? Nice job, Himiko! Your explanation was awesome! She's like damning herself. This much evidence? It seems like the body was definitely in the piranha tank. Congrats, Himiko! Now there should be no reason for anyone to suspect you. Mm, really? Yeah, because if you didn't switch places with the body, then you couldn't have killed him. Well, she it set up. She still set now it up. Have other suspects. You are not cleared of suspicion just yet. Okay, but still, that's way better. That's wonderful news, Himiko. Atua is happy for you. <laughs> yeah, right, dude. She's been like saying she's been sussing her the entire time. <laughs> Apologize, Angie. You and your Atua better tell Himiko you're sorry right now. Yeah. Atua better. is sleeping. He went to bed angry because you all doubted him. What a petty ass god! He just no, goes to sleep, okay. It's okay. We shouldn't be mad at Angie. That god wasn't supposed to sleep. We should be mad at this class trial. At this killing game. Oh, Himiko! Bless your sweet, kind heart! That's what Atua said, anyway. What? Uh oh. It's too bad that the handsome god went to bed angry, though. Himiko's still brainwashed! That sounds creepy. But I'm not giving up just yet. This is gonna be a breeze. Great, now what are we gonna do? We're back to square one. And why are we back to square one? Because any of us could still be the culprit. Jeez! You flunk out a tard school or something? Nuh uh. No. Not <laughs> everyone. We can narrow it down to whoever doesn't have an alibi yet. Yeah. Huh? What alibi? What, what is he talking about? Like when I he guess saw I should people? have known a dumb whore pig like you wouldn't understand. Ooh. So let me explain. Yeah, I'm Kokichi. Who you calling a dumb pig? If there's this much evidence, then there's no mistake the body was hidden in the piranha tank. But for someone to plant the body in there with such limited time is pretty tricky. Kokichi brings up a valid point. There's only one time the culprit could have set the scene up. Uh. Yesterday during nighttime. Uh, yesterday before nighttime. Before the show this morning. I'm gonna say during nighttime. Nope. I'm wrong. Okay, sorry. Before nighttime. That's it. That's that's what I meant to say, guys. Don't worry. It was done yesterday before nighttime. Ding ding ding! The ultimate detective gets it right again. Oh, wait. How do you know it was before nighttime? Yes. Stop asking me dumbass questions. It could have been <laughs> solved with the process of elimination. Jeez. Okay, so. Fine. I'll explain it to the itty bitty pea brained bitchlet. Dang, Kokichi is like, it's just popping off. The bitchlet. <laughs> that is, that is a, like a me level insult though. So she, she does deserve it. You know? First, the gym was closed during nighttime, so no one could have entered. If you try to enter the gym at night, it'll go off. Bet you the voice actors had fun with these lines. You talking about my butthole? No. <laughs> what? What did he say? <laughs> uh, best line of the game. No, she means the alarm. <laughs> After nighttime passed, morning came. But hiding the body before the show was... <laughs> Impossible! Himiko and I were waiting in front of the gym before the morning announcement. Which leaves only one possibility. It was done before nighttime yesterday. Anyone who doesn't get this is just as stupid as the whore bitch lit over there. <laughs> she doesn't so know what to do. Brioma's corpse in the piranha tank before nighttime yesterday? Which means he was also killed during that time frame. Yay! Now we know what time the crime happened, right? Yeah, I want to know how they trapped him. I still don't really get it, though. Well, I know how, but Can like... Can we narrow down the time of death a bit more? Like, did they just sneak up on him? Sure, we can narrow it down more if we consider the source of the information. <laughs> I think we're doing Kukichi's account, right? Uh, Never mind. This is it! Ah, yes, this one. If we can find out who last saw Ryoma alive, 
we can narrow down the time of death. Kirumi, you were asking everyone when they had last seen him, right? Yes. Gonta was the last person who saw Ryoma. What? Really? And when was the last time Gonta saw Ryoma? Um, when Gonta was inviting everyone to insect meet and greet, so Gonta think that was maybe 8 p.m.? If he was last seen at 8 p.m. and was killed before nighttime officially began, then we can assume the crime took place between 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock at night. So all we must do is find someone with no alibi for that time period. Simple enough. After all, most of us were detained by Gonta then. What's... I don't remember him being there. If I recall correctly, the only people that weren't there besides Ryoma... That would be the four of us. Myself, Kaito, Mew, and also... Maki. Now, Kirumi! You would tell the truth, even if it screwed you over. I do this for everyone. It is my duty to unveil the truth, so I do not care if people suspect me. Yeah, there's no way she did it. Beautiful! Your spirit of self-sacrifice is just too beautiful! I will also say this. Yeah, so that, he's the same voice actor as uh, um, Teru Teru, right? The crime took place between 8 and 10 o'clock at night, and I was at the gym during that time. Uh... That... What? Ow! Yeah, she was just like. Only there for about five minutes. But like, how come you don't say this before? Like, why would you, you wait even so long? say that though? You're tying a noose around your neck, you know. I don't care if it was five seconds. It's way too suspicious that you were alone in the gym. I think the cleaning lady here is the culprit. You killed Rioma, didn't you? Why was she though? It is too soon to tell. We should hear what everyone has she to say. She obviously right? has some very great information that we should know. Fuck that noise! But Mew, you don't have an alibi for when the crime occurred either, do you? You think I'm suspicious? Uh, I don't even know where the gym is! Well, you should know the Ryoma's freaking place. You were there. Doesn't telling such obvious lies make you more suspicious, Mew? The other two without alibis are Kaito and Maki. Let us hear your- I guess Kori Kiyo was there, but I don't remember. I was in my research lab the whole time. I didn't go to the gym. But that cannot be proven, can it? No, but I believe it. What about Kaito? Only murderers grow out creepy facial hair like mustaches and goatees. What? <laughs> my goatee's not creepy. It gives me a glamorous oh, celebrity it's vibe. Good thing, it's a good thing I shaved. Anyway, among those four, the culprit must be the one who doesn't have an alibi. I apologize, but given the circumstances, we have no choice but to suspect you. Suspect who? Who's the culprit? Wait up! Why are you guys suspicious of me? I've been helping the whole time! Yeah, he did. Wait, he did help. That's why he's suspicious to me. I do have an alibi. Okay, you that sounds see, like she's making it up. I am suspicious as the trial progresses. No I'm way the I'm the culprit! Oh yeah, I have to do this thing. Alright, mass panic debate or whatever. Okay, I feel like the four rules. Okay. What is your alibi? When I was running from I even tried hiding in the girls' bathroom! The girls' bathroom. Got a little heated catch my Perfect. 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 Okay. What's Monkey's alibi? And then right before nighttime, I got tired and fell asleep. Did you really leave the, the gym bathroom? at 9 p.m.? Are you sure you did not what? stay at the no, gym? No, 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 let me, let me, let me, no, why you close it down? Wait, 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 that's the answer. Stay at the gym. My god, I tried this so many times, but I kept blocking it. <laughs> ah, so annoying. I knew that was the answer. No, I think Kirumi is telling the truth. Yeah, he said that he met her and, and got scolded at 9. Kokichi met Kirumi at 9 p.m. and they were together until nighttime. Gonta went to the gym to catch Himiko and Angie five minutes before 9 o'clock. After I left Gonta's lab, I ran into Kirumi. I'm pretty oh, sure Kirumi stayed at the gym five minutes till nine o'clock. This information could have been told to us beforehand. So sorry, many things could be told beforehand. I definitely didn't keep it a secret to make the trial more interesting. Forgot? It seems far more plausible that you were telling another lie. Unlike robots, we meatbags can't pull out our memories from our hard drive. Was that supposed to offend me? Your irrationality fills me with pity. Dang. 
Dang, Kibo. That would mean I killed Ryoma within five minutes, transported him to the gym, and hid him in the piranha tank. This seems highly unlikely. If you called Ryoma out to the gym and killed him there, you wouldn't need to move him. All you would have to do is hide him in the piranha tank. Gonto was in the midst of heading to the gym to capture Angie. Are you claiming I took advantage of that and called Ryoma for a rendezvous at the gym? Um, that would be pretty difficult. We should probably look at other possibilities. Maybe someone snuck into the gym while Kirumi and I were busy talking. The only ones capable of that are the other three with no alibi. Yes. Mio, Kaito, and Maki! Ah! You're including me too? But there's actually one person we can rule out of the suspects list. Right? There's one person who's totally not suspicious. Say who it is already. Oh, it's Miu. It's, it's Miu. You saw her like in a swimsuit or something, right? Yeah, it's Miu. Kokichi, you're talking about Mew, right? Is it finally gonna show what, what the heck happened? Mew? <laughs> yeah, you can take her off the list. She actually has an alibi. Oh yeah! Suck it, <laughs> nerds! Wait a sec, since when does she have an alibi? If you compare everyone's statements, there's no other possibility. Yeah, he said she saw her. I guess she was like lowering Gonta. I don't I don't know what else she was doing. A girl walking around half naked. Who else could it be? But the horny exhibitionist Mew. We can't just jump to conclusions like that. He just saw a shadow, right? That could have been anyone walking around in women's underwear. Even me! <laughs> it was me! How could you mistake that? That'd be a whole different issue. No, it's Mew, without a doubt. Mew and Gonta's statements prove it. Gonta see Mew, but Gonta face get red hot. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so so what is this secret weapon that she used? I see, I see. It sounds like Gonta got an eyeful, hmm? Hmm. What? Why the heck were you in your underwear, Mew? Uh, well, cause, you know, I'm pretty stacked, so... Oh, no, no, don't brag about it. I figured I'd take my clothes off, so Gonta would be too flustered to touch me. Ha ha ha! That's my story, and I'm sticking to it, you cockroaches! Oh, crap. Okay. Anyway, I think the blood rushed to both of Gonta's heads because he got super embarrassed. Come on, Miu. Come on. Hey, don't don't you be talking about my innocent Gonta like that. Miu was in her underwear, and Gonta got <laughs> weird feelings. What? So Gonta ran away. Well, when you got the body of a goddess, it's only natural to want to flaunt it. I show my panties to the boys all the time. Oh, this is no and big deal. I mean, all the time. It's so funny that kind of like her and uh, her and uh, Akane have the same voice actor, and they almost act the same in some ways. In some ways. So you're welcome, Gonta. Think of me during your next tug. Hey, session. Gonta doesn't do that. Most of that was <laughs> unintelligible nonsense, but oh it would God. seem that Mew has <clears throat> an actual alibi. It's yep, it took a out. while. But at least we got everyone's alibis cleared up. We should remember all of this in case we need to recall these events again. Okay, got it. That leaves Kaito and Maki as the only ones with no alibis. What did I say? I said Kaito, didn't I? Then one of them must be the culprit. But which one, I wonder? But Angie, you're not clear. Don't Any think you're clear. Mani Mo gets the culprit by its Hold up! Don't decide just yet! Two prime suspects. But something inside me doesn't want to accuse Kaito because we're bros, dude! We're bros! I want to believe Kaito until he's proven guilty. I will trust him. Uh, maybe we should determine the sequence of events. The culprit w No, we should do something more fun. And I have the perfect idea. Oh, are we finally gonna look at the motive videos? We narrowed it down to two people. And one of those two is the culprit. Right. Since we don't have to randomly accuse each other, finding the truth just got much easier. So let's find the truth with a more effective method. We slap each other. And what is this effective method? If one of them is the culprit, then the innocent one should know who the guilty one is. Yeah? Because if you know you're not the culprit, then you can just accuse the other person. Yes, that is true. Which means there is one person among us among who us. definitely <laughs> knows who the culprit is. To that someone who knows, do your best to convince us. Work harder. Work harder? 
Have the two argue for their innocence. That's how we'll decide our culprit. Even if we did that, wouldn't they just pass the blame back and forth? And... What's wrong with that? You guys talk about cooperation and teamwork, but you're all afraid. You're too scared to point your fingers at others, so you hide behind the word trust. How do you expect to find the culprit when you're all worried about each other's feelings? If you're planning to expose a liar, then you have to corner them psychologically. Only then will they reveal their true self as a liar, hiding beneath a layer of deceit! He's evil. If we want to find the liar, I suggest that the two suspects argue against each other. Oh, wow, I forgot I could do this. No more pointless deductions. All we need is for them to fight for their lives. So let's host an argument that's totally not boring, but super fun. We'll catch the culprit in their lies when we find a contradiction. We'll scare the culprit until they screw up. That's how a true class trial works. Right, Monokuma? <laughs> a a de development like that would liven things up. Ah, uh, every time it kills me. Every time this yep, happens. I totally agree. You're agreeing with Monokuma? Just whose side are you on? I'm on your side. I don't want to die either, you know. That's why we need to take this seriously. A hot debate to smoke out the liar. The heck? And how His do you voice. expect us to start <clears throat> this? If you guys need some help getting <clears throat> started, I can give out the first topic. I knew it! Our this would come in. Our first topic is... The Cubs Pad. Not just any Cubs Pad, but the one given to our latest victim, Ryoma. How does he know? When we started investigating, I went straight to his room to borrow it. How does he know it's so his, though? It wasn't the culprit who took the video from his room. It was you. And the reason why I brought it out just for this occasion is... Oh, because they would obviously have the other person's motive. And if it's one of them... But we know that we have, um... Uh... Oh my god. We, we have... I can't remember his name. We have Beard Dudes ones. I can't think of his one name of right now. one of these two had Ryoma's motive video. Dun dun dun. One of these two had it? Oh, Kaito may have had it. And maybe he got attacked by Ryoma and defended himself. That's just, that's it. Just, I don't see how else it could happen, you know? And for us to figure that out, we need to know who this motive video belongs to. Take a guess, everyone. Whose motive video did Ryoma have? But if we're basing this off of motive videos, then that must mean, if, if that's what's really gonna like determine the trial, then Kaito's probably innocent then. And she would have Ryoma's. Or, um, or she knows that Ah, oh, so confused. I'm just saying, if he had Ryoma's, it wouldn't make sense for him to kill him. You know? So, the motive video that Ryoma had, was it Kaito's or Maki's? Well, it's obviously Maki's. You have it, stupid. <laughs> I should know the answer. The motive video that Ryoma had, was it Kaito's or Maki's? It had to have been. Well, it could be neither. We don't know. But I'm gonna guess Maki, because that's the logical thing. That's it! That's it what I was, was trying to say, basically. Maki's it just couldn't motive video, come out right. right. Wow, how did you ever guess? Ooh, I know, I know! It's because the motive video that you have belongs to Kaito. Process of elimination wins again. That's smart. The obvious answer was Maki, right? Is that true, Shuichi? Yes, you're right. And what about that? Just because Ryoma had my motive video, that doesn't make me the culprit. Oh, it, well, it makes you suspicious. <laughs> Finally, you said something! But no, it can't this be her! How a debate no, should be. it can't be her, it's too obvious, that's too obvious. Like, she was actually suspicious the whole time, so there's no way. The game never usually goes that smoothly. I only brought up the motive video to make you talk. Excuse me? Okay, now that we got the party rolling, let's get you and Kaito ready to argue. Remember. If you're not the culprit, then that means the other one is. Got that? Let's start this extreme death debate. Tear up the other's lies. Rip each other apart. Wait just a minute. What are you trying Quit to- Quit screwing around! Ooh. We don't need to debate who's a culprit! What? I'm not the culprit! That's for sure. Which okay. means- Kaito, wait. Maybe Kokichi is wrong. Maybe he- What? Maki isn't a culprit either. Huh? 
What? Who is it then? Is it Kokichi? Huh? Really? You're saying neither of you are the culprit? Then what would be the point of this whole debate? Who cares about that? All I know is that neither me or Maki are the culprit. Oh, does he actually know then? It's just a hunch I've got. Uh, a hunch? Are you being serious? You do know all our lives are on the line here, right? And you're betting our lives on just a hunch? Huh, you don't get it. This isn't just any hunch. It's a big hunch. This is an official hunch from the <laughs> Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. He read it in his horoscope. What? How illogical. This is even more difficult to comprehend than Kokichi's antics. That's coming from Kibo, man. You're totally not serious. You can't be that stupid, right? No, he might actually be that stupid. <laughs> Damn idiot! A Toadant idiot! Hey, don't call me an idiot! Anyway, me and Maki aren't the culprit. There's no doubt about it. I believe in Maki. Well, if he's right, then maybe what I said was uh, still stands. What? You believe in her? But based on what? Huh? I don't gotta base it on anything. No matter where the clues point. In the end, the only thing that matters is what I believe, right? Whether I believe or not. Whether I want to believe or not. That's the only thing that matters. So you do not have any evidence. Only baseless conjecture. How do you convince people? But I totally get where he's coming from. Because I want to believe in Himiko too. So now, if it really isn't them, I'm, 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 it's got to be Tenko or it's got to be um, An Angie? Wanting to believe in someone is a beautiful act, yes. Hey, and don't, I forgot, I forgot about your rope capabilities. However, it is a sentiment that has no place in a class trial. He's an idiot after all. It's okay to be idiot, as long as you believe in people. Oh, thanks, God. Guys, I said don't thanks, call God, me an idiot. Really hurts my feelings. It's true. That's not what a class trial is about. You're supposed to think logically. You can't let your feelings into it. It's absurdity. Total absurdity. But then again, that absurdity, absurdity saved me before, right? Why do you trust me, Kaito? There's a chance that I'm the co- I believe in you because I want to. Do I need a reason other than that? What? Isn't that, the, isn't that why you believed in Kaede? I mean, sure, I might get betrayed in the end, but... If I worry about that, I won't be able to believe in the people I want to believe in. If I can trust my logic, maybe I should trust Kaito's feelings too. Yeah, it'll work out in the end, so... I'll believe in Maki as well. What? Yeah, I, that's, that's too obvious. That's Kaido, right? Making us think with our hearts. <sighs> you too? How could the ultimate detective believe in someone without proof? But there's no proof linking Maki or Kaito to this crime either. I believe in innocent until proven guilty. For now, they are innocent. Yeah. Right on, I, I agree, I agree. I knew I picked a good sidekick. Uh, and by the way, I might be the ultimate detective, but I'm in training. I told you that, didn't I? I'm just an apprentice, I'm not a real detective. How do you plan to get closer to the truth without suspecting either of them? Unless you have evidence to the contrary, these two will remain suspect. So I just have to turn it around, right? Ooh, she's like, I've been hiding huh? this. Like, she literally has not said anything. So she it's might know something. It's not like I owe that idiot a favor or anything just because he defended me. Oh, she's, she's soon well, dairy. That hopeless idiot may have encouraged me a bit. Seriously, enough's enough. Stop calling me an <laughs> idiot. What are you trying to say, Maki? I didn't want to say anything, but I can't stay silent forever. So I'll tell you. There's no way. There's no way she killed uh, uh, Ryoma because he looked like a little kid. Oh, tell us what? Facts. I met up with Ryoma during nighttime yesterday. Oh, well, no wonder why you didn't want to say that. With Ryoma? At nighttime? So Ryoma was still alive at nighttime? The crime took place between 8 and 10 o'clock at night. But that's wrong, because I met up with Ryoma during nighttime. If that's true, then we have no basis for suspecting only Kaito and Maki. That's right. Everyone suspected them, because they no have alibis for those times. That means me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. Quit fucking around! You think I'm dumb enough to swallow that line of crap? Yes, this seems too convenient. 
But why did Maki wait until now to mention that? Same question every time. <laughs> it's totally obvious. Maki's so desperate that she has to lie. Was that a lie? Did Maki lie to us? It's true, we don't have all the facts. But why would Maki say that now of all times? If I trust her innocence, I should believe her statement. But should I? Is this where we have to lie? Oh, the intermission. Crap, damn, we're only halfway done. You better use the bathroom while you can. Alright, we're back. Another shocking truth revealed. Back to square one. Square one? If square one, they wouldn't have got eaten by the competition. <laughs> After that terrible movie, they had no other choice. Wow, what does that mean? It means he doesn't want to get involved in another pointless argument, like this one. That's the same voice as Monokuma, isn't it? It is. We shouldn't listen to anything Maki says. She's just going to throw out more lies. Well, let's listen to her. But if we don't ask her for more details... Yeah, yeah, let him talk. I told you already, we or don't her. need to. I hate liars. Liar, liar, pants on fire. He just wanted to see people argue. To talk. Maki, just ignore that lying little degenerate. We'll listen to what you have to say. It must have been a little after midnight last night. He visited me at my research lab. After midnight? What? He wanted me to show him the motive video that I received. Motive video? If Ryoma came to ask about that, does that mean you had his motive video? As I recall, Ryoma had Maki's motive video, correct? Does this mean you and Ryoma received one another's motive video? Well, I don't see why else he would go to her. Maybe. I actually didn't check the one I got, so I wouldn't know. Maki admitted earlier that she hadn't checked her cubs pack. Yeah, that, that means that he knew. Then why did Ryoma think that Maki had his motive video? If he went around asking at random, he might have asked some people besides Maki. He never asked me. He probably never asked you guys either, right? Then... Who was it that told Ryoma about his cubs pad? Uh, it had to have been the only person that knew about them was Kokichi. It's you. Yeah, he's the only one that touched them. That would be Kokichi. Yeah, yep. That's when he made his Pokemon reference. So you saw the motive videos. <laughs> Did you tell Ryoma that Maki had his? When males get this quiet, they're either caught in a lie or thinking dirty thoughts. Must be dirty thoughts. What happened then, Maki? After Ryoma asked you for his motive video. I told Ryoma just to take it from my room. I keep my room unlocked. Wow, oh, Maki, that's super careless. Aren't you scared someone might kill you in your sleep? And also, why did he get to go in? And then what happened? I don't know what happened after that. I'm not even sure if he saw his motive video. When he asked me, he said that he would show me my motive video in return. But I wasn't interested, so I declined. And that's pretty much it. So you don't even know if Ryoma saw his motive video? What a bunch of crap! If Maki met with Ryoma at nighttime, that proves he was still alive then. Which means, even though we don't have alibis from 8 to 10, Maki and me aren't suspects! If that story is true. True, it's true. true. Then why did you wait until now to bring that up? I didn't say anything until now because I wasn't in the mood to be suspected. Suspected? What for? Now I feel like I am in the mood to Kirumi be suspected. said it earlier. It seems that Ryoma and I had each other's motive videos. That's pretty fishy, right? So I didn't want to mention it to avoid suspicion. Uh, well, we need proof. We need to see it. You didn't say anything because you weren't in the mood? It is quite selfish to keep this information hidden because you were not in the mood. Well, whatever. Either way, let's just believe Maki. No! <laughs> yes, yes! Those who believe shall be saved! No, we need to wait. There is still more to confirm. Well then, why don't we ask Kokichi? Yeah, that's what I said. Huh? What now? Just show us the video. You answered my question. Were you the one who told <clears throat> Ryoma that Maki had his motive video? Is that really important? Yes, it is important. Because if Kokichi told Ryoma, it becomes more likely that Ryoma visited Maki during nighttime. I see. K 
Kokichi's response may help corroborate Maki's testimony. Now you understand why I don't want your charade. I want the truth. Well, Kokichi, did you tell Ryoma? Huh, did you? You said it earlier. I don't want to die, right? If you really don't want to die, then you better tell us the truth. Here comes the dramatic turnabout. Now I'm the one pressured by Maki. Okay, it's true. I told Ryoma... Why would, he, why would he do that? Just as I thought. But that's not a bad thing, right? He wanted to know, so I told him. Have you seen everyone's motive video? No, not yet. I was gonna wait until we hosted, like, a movie screening party. I just checked who had whose, so I could give them back to everyone after. <sighs> hmm. I see. Anyway, if Kokichi told Ryoma that, then he must have gone to see Maki. That means Maki's telling the truth. Ryoma was alive during nighttime. No, we cannot be too sure about that yet. Even if Ryoma and Maki did meet, it does not mean it was during nighttime yesterday. So you still suspect me? I am saying it could still be a possibility. If there is still a small chance of you being the culprit, then I cannot trust you entirely. Because everyone's lives are at stake. Then which is it? A lie? She sounds like the main character, huh? <laughs> She's not lying. Can't you tell just by <laughs> looking at her? <laughs> if it's Shuichi, uh, oh my god. I'm gonna throw this computer away. The whole computer. If it was that easy, we'd be done by now. No. This is a world of lies and betrayal. Himiko! It breaks my heart to hear you say depressing things! I find Maki's testimony suspicious. It's far too convenient for her. This is difficult to determine. Maki is lying. Like I said before, a liar like me knows their own kind. I'm not lying. I did meet up with Ryoma during night time. I, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think their rooms were close to each other too. I'm telling the truth. All right, we gotta figure out if it's true. Okay, all right, here we go. I met with Ryoma the previous night. What a load of crap! Maki alone. Maki only see Ryoma at night? Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. Did anyone see those two together? Uh... Surely they would have come forward already. If no one can prove that this meeting took place, then there is no reason to believe your testimony, I'm afraid. As expected, Maki is lying to us. If you can't prove your claim, then it's the same as an outright lie! The only thing I can think of is Maki, Maki alone. Maki was standing guard in front of her lab last night. She stayed in her dorm uh, only during nighttime. That's the only thing I can think of that's connected. Did anyone see those two together? Oh, we need to lie! We need to lie about it! Ah! I forgot about lying! I forgot! Perjury! Is that what that says? Not be able to prove they met, but I can prove Maki wasn't alone. Oh, please explain. Well, Kaito and I trained together every night, and yesterday, because of the insect meet and greet, we started late. Huh? Just go with ah, it. Go Kaito, with it. Don't worry. You don't have to say anything. <laughs> That's anyway, signal. We were doing some frog squats on the school stairs when we heard two people talking. Is that what we did? People talking? We knew one of them was Maki, but we couldn't pick out the other one. It's but a straight out lie. About it, That's a bald face lie. What? Uh, yeah, maybe. That was probably around midnight. Wait a minute! If you heard their voices, then that means... So Ryoma and Maki did meet up. No, no, hold up! Why'd you sit on that info for so long? Because until just now, I didn't think it was relevant. What are you? What? Oh, because they didn't know. Okay. I had no reason to bring it up. Now, now, we don't know if Maki was really talking to Ryoma, right? That is true. If I knew for certain, I would have said so sooner. But considering Smart. the circumstances, good, good answer. I can't imagine answer. anyone but Ryoma. None of us were talking to Maki last night, correct? So it must have been him. And nobody say you suddenly remember talking to Maki. It's way too late for that. And you two did not confirm who Maki was talking to at the time? If I overheard a conversation in the middle of the night, I surely would have checked. 
We are still part of a killing game after all. Whoa, whoa, chill out. Why the scary face? That was my bad, but it's not really manly to eavesdrop, you know? I wouldn't do something so uncool. Anyway, I know that we heard those voices. Maki is not lying. Then Gonto will believe friends. So Maki probably knows they're lying. You're gonna believe him? Just like that? But Shuichi has no reason to lie. Yes. If his lie leads us to the wrong culprit, he will join us in eternal sleep. <laughs> Unless yeah. he wishes for death, we should be able to believe him. That's right. You can believe me. What are you doing, Shuichi? Yeah, you're right. I'll believe him too. Belief shall set you free. I'd be so surprised if Shuichi was a liar. Especially after we believed him for so long. We wouldn't be able to trust anyone anymore. Well, it's not like he's lying anyway. All right, that proves it then. Know? Ryoma was still alive during nighttime. In other words, me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. But I guess that means everyone's alibis no longer matter, yes? So everyone is culprit again? So we're right back where oh we started. Oh my god. However, it should be clear now that the crime occurred after nighttime began. But then when was Ryoma's body placed inside the piranha tank? Well, the gym is locked at nighttime, so it must have been the next morning. But That's not possible. Himiko and I were at the gym, remember? So did we fuck up by thinking the body got stuffed into the piranha tank? I don't think so. We have evidence to prove that's what happened. And when did the culprit throw the body into the piranha tank? Uh. Uh. Nighttime? They can get through the window. They climbed the, with, by a rope. The only time they could have done it was during nighttime, huh? <laughs> did you forget the gym's not open at nighttime, Dick Cheese? No, they. No, uh. uh Dick the, the window. <laughs> the win but that's the only possibility, because by morning we were already at the gym. It may be possible they slipped by without you noticing. No one can slip by me. I'm known far and wide as the snoozing sorceress. What a terrible title what? for a sword. <laughs> Are you positive that you did not see it? You cannot enter the gym at nighttime. Himiko would have seen it. She might strike out, but she always keeps her eye on the ball. All I know is someone is lying because at at that time, someone went to Ryoma's room, and they're not saying it. Or his lab, yeah, at least. So who? Who? But we can't disobey school rules, right? The body was probably moved in the morning. Calm down, everyone. Go to sure if we discuss disagreement. I see through your arguments. Oh, this is unexpected. What? A disagreement? He's getting mad. You mean you're split down it's not the going middle fast again? Enough. Then, the Ultimate Academy oh. is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial ground! This is the part where we have to, like... Yippee! We've been waiting for this! Just like last time? Jeez. We gotta do that whole crazy thing again? Split opinion! Or whatever. That'd be scary. When was the body put in the piranha tank? The next morning during nighttime. Did the culprit move the body just before the morning announcement? Is it not possible you simply missed the culprit? Give me cup. We were right in front of the door. There's no way we could have missed them. Remember, the rules state that you can't oh. enter the gym at night. Kaito. Rules probably don't apply to corpses, you know. The piranha yeah, tank true. is too that's far true. from the gym's entrance. I've got this! You might be able to reach the tank from the window above the stage. But pool next to gym also off limits. Entering the pool at night's what's off limits, not the pool area itself. But should we trust Maki's testimony what, yeah, in the that's first That's what I said from the beginning. Tenko. It's okay, because we have Shuichi's testimony too! And I lied. Did the culprit move the body just before the morning announcement? Did the culprit move yeah, the body I, I just before thing. the morning? It's because we have. 
Crutch fine. Oh, wait, wait. Ah, here we go. Woo! Gotcha. It's so much easier with the controller. It, because it does not match up to the keyboard. I had so much problems with this last time. It's true that you cannot enter the gym at nighttime, but a corpse could. Yes. I am positive that the window was how the culprit moved the body. That window is higher than the piranha tank, and it's pretty close by. Curtains might have been closed, but the window was open the whole investigation. That means it was certainly possible to put the body in the piranha tank from the window. However, I'm also positive the pain dividing the piranha tank was set up beforehand. Ooh, so it had to have been during the setup then, most likely. That certainly couldn't be tossed in. It would need to be placed carefully. Even if the culprit were to throw the body from outside the window. Yeah, and, and uh, freaking what's her face was talking about how, like, exactly how to do that. The window is far too high. It cannot be reached from the floor. Ryoma was small. Gonta could have chucked him nah. easy. Yes, but Gonta wouldn't do that. <laughs> Gentlemen, that's, not that's chuck That's all the proof you need. Gonta no chuck dead bodies. That's it. Being a gentleman has nothing to do oh, with it. Oh, yes, it does. I know. They used the ladder in the gym. You tested it out while you were investigating, Shuichi. That ladder reached the window, right? No, I don't think that method is possible because the ladder couldn't have been used like this in a crime. I can prove it. The ladder doesn't reach the window. There was no time to move it. The ladder... That's it! Yeah, I can't reach the window. Of course. The only reason the ladder reached the window was because it was on the stage. No, they use they use the tennis thing. That's what we if already you know. If use the ladder on the pool side, it would not quite make it. The ladder could barely reach the window when it was on the stage. And there is nothing on the pool side of the gym as tall as the stage. Finally, the ladder was found in the gym, correct? If the culprit used the ladder on the pool side, we wouldn't have found it in the gym. And they couldn't have thrown the ladder back through the window because it's too heavy. Then Gonta used his hard strength to throw the ladder or the body or something. What does that even mean? <laughs> Gentlemen, not throw dead bodies or ladders. Yeah, especially ladders. The body could not have been thrown into the piranha tank to begin with. It would need to be placed carefully to prevent the glass pane from shifting. Got it, muscle head? Even if we injected tons of steroids into you, it'd be impossible. Sorry, you're right. You didn't need to apologize, Gonta. How the culprit moved the body from the window. Ha! <laughs> you guys don't even know that? What a bunch of dimwits. I knew the whole time. Do you have the answer then? But of course. Tell him, Shuichi. Blow him all away with I the will! Uh, I, uh, actually don't know that yet. What? <laughs> the culprit definitely moved the body through the window, but I don't know how. Seriously? Serves you right! You just made a fool out of yourself after acting all mm -hmm. high and mighty! Hmm. Hmm, 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 I... Huh. Actually, I might know. Maybe they used the uh, thing that raises up the, the box. Maybe that's what they did. Dudes just need to shut up and take their licks. What else could- that's the only thing that- it, it, Oh yeah, that's it. It said it we could We gotta figure things. this out or we're done for. Hey, you gotta do something sh- uh, I know. I'm right I about this. To... I already know. I don't think it really matters how the body got into the piranha tank. What? Gonta Why? thinks it matter. We won't know culprit's trick unless we figure out- We're getting sidetracked. It doesn't matter how it was done, just who did it. We shouldn't focus on where we found the body. Instead, we need to focus on where he was killed. Where he was killed? Well, Wouldn't I got it be that. more efficient if we focused on the murder scene instead? Yes, that's it. We were so caught up in where the body was found. When we should have been thinking about where the murder occurred. The murder scene would definitely have more clues about the culprit. Why didn't anyone realize this yet? <laughs> That's strange. 
Perhaps the culprit steered the conversation away from that topic. Ah, no! Who? <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> did the culprit move the body just before the morning announcement? Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I can't, can't say. Well then, let's discuss the crime scene to figure out who the culprit is. That's not a bad idea for a robot. The last time I heard such a good idea was... When Nino told me to move in with her under the bridge to get out of the cold. What? Amy Caldwell under the bridge? If we can uh, determine where this all started, we can determine how it ended. Alright, I already know. Thank you, Maki. That was a helpful insight. I can't believe you didn't notice that. I guess that's why you're still an apprentice. She reminds me of Kyoko. All right, all right, I got this. First, let's establish the crime scene. Okay. The dorm room? Normal well, was relaxing in his room when he got attacked. Mm, but the no. cause of death was drowning. Yeah. There is nothing in his room that could collect enough water. What are you talking so about? Toilet, doesn't he? Drowning toilets? Impossible. This is this is it. This is that's it. That's that's the thing. We should consider places where water is stored. The only place that fits is the pool. What? Even if you use magic, there's no other way. Why aren't you letting me say that? Be the pool then. Now that little turd drowned in the toilet. <laughs> Shut your mouth, you noisy sow. This is so funny the way she said that. What? Yeah, he, he's not. He can't be drowned in the pool because that's there's the does it. People can't go in there. People can't go in the pool. Obviously, that can't be it. The pool I'm jumping the gun. Been the scene of the murder. Ryoma was killed at nighttime. No swimming is allowed at nighttime, so a living person could not have gone in. A dead body is fine because it's just an object. But if a living person entered the pool... That's why he was thrown in the pool afterwards. I think I might cry. Cry as loud as you want. I'll cry with you. We can spend the night together crying. Well, they come with their bull crap. In the morning after, I'll write goodbye on your mirror and lipstick before I quietly Just leave. shut up already. Only after you leave do I realize how much you really mean to me. Quit being so gloomy. This is the year of the Jets. Fuck the Patriots! Anyway, what are they talking about? Football? We can conclude it's impossible for him <laughs> to have drowned in the pool. Where was Ryoma killed if not- I pool? know! Let me say it! God! Alright, I'm saying it! Ah, blah, 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 scratch, scratch hand- No, that's not it. Dang it. I, uh, I, I jumped the gun again. I know it though. I know it. That one! This is it! The sink in Ryoma's lab. Yes! Scratch marks on the sink. And I believe those scratches were caught. The uh, handcuffs. This is it. The handcuff. Oh yeah, sort of. Yes. Yep. 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 Come on. Come on. There's all. The marks. I was seen. forty steps Even ahead of this game. The size and shape of the scratches are consistent with the handcuffs. Hmm. How did those handcuffs get from the lab to the water tank? Because Ryoma was wearing them. Yes, though they were only visible for a brief moment when Ryoma appeared in the tank. Yeah, that was one of the most notable features. Doesn't it? His bones, of course. I'm certain he was wearing the handcuffs at the time. The handcuffs were left after the piranhas devoured Ryoma. So the culprit handcuffed Ryoma and drowned him in his lab sink. Ryoma must have been pretty yummy. They chomped up his entire body. Arms, legs, brain. Same disgusting thing. I don't want to hear it. That mm. crunchy texture with the fatty parts <laughs> just right. Then when they bite down, it gushes. Stop! Please stop! But how did culprit handcuff Ryoma? He could have used Shikuchi method to get away. Unless someone ambushed That's him? That's what I said. It's possible they knocked him out before handcuffing him. <laughs> Though there's no way we can be sure, now that he's not but bones. I doubt he was ambushed. I'm pretty sure the culprit got Ryoma by... Oh. Oh, what if... Oh, wait a minute. If 
Wait a minute. I I just I just stumbled upon a new piece of evidence that I just came up with. <laughs> yes. It might be possible that she may have cooked him something and poisoned it. She would totally be capable of doing that. Right? But that's that That's all I'm going to say. I don't know if that's true or not. Ah, whoops. Don't pay attention to little old me. He did he I'm did ask for food. I I remember he did. Pretend you're eating and chew with your mouth closed. Otherwise, you'll get a mouthful of peanut butter squid. It's so disgusting, you'll laugh. <laughs> so we all agree okay. Ryoma was drowned in the sink in his lap, right? That sink could have held enough water to do it for sure. All right, I'm calling it. The crime scene is Ryoma's fucking research lab. But how did the culprits carry his body to the gym from there? They threw him. Isn't Ryoma's lab on the third floor of yeah, the academy? Yeah, they threw him. It's actually not far at all. Although, perhaps it's more accurate to say there's a shortcut. Was there a shortcut? Window. Window. Come on. It's too easy. I'm already on it. Like, why even... <laughs> there! <laughs> I'm automatically on it. The shortcut is the window yeah. of... The window? That's right. None of the windows in this school open. Except the one in Ryoma's lab. And on top of that, the window faced the pool. You could see the gym straight across. Do you think the culprit dropped Ryoma's body into the pool area from the lab window? Then they could have thrown the body into the piranha tank through the gym window. How's that? Mission complete! Your explanation contradicts some things we discussed earlier. The gym window was too high to reach from the poolside, even if one used the ladder. Bro. That's right! I apologize! We keep hitting dead ends, since we don't know this, how the body was thrown- Let's just skip this, <laughs> until I, I, I give it to them. What the heck, a car? Psyche taxi? So we gotta collect letters, okay. Is that Shuichi driving? What the heck? This is completely random. Okay, well, this is interesting. Uh, this is some bad handling. Bebo rug wear! <laughs> Wait, no, the body was rough. What? Oh, the bot, the, the boy. <laughs> Meat on the bone! Oh. The body was rough and wear. Uh, lab window, the lab door, the lab window. Oh, you hit, you have to, you have to hit a girl. Uh, okay. Completely random. I just killed somebody. Oh, this is a fun mini game. Why is there pictures of freaking what's her face on there? Isn't that a little weird? The body was brought from the gym where. Boom! I gotta score me another lady. All right. The body was brought to the gym from where? The gym window. Bye bye. <laughs> e. I got all the ladies now. Next question. Oh my god. Am I supposed to hit these cars? I didn't read the rules completely. No, do not hit the cars. That no, don't hit the cars. My insurance is now gonna go through the roof. Oh wait, <laughs> that's what it says. Oh wait, Medrotha and the energy wind. Oh wait. <laughs> uh, oh Monica, no! I wanted to hit him. No, I should have hit him. Ah, uh, that probably would have been a special point. Uh, how was it moved from the classroom window to the gym window via the pool? Yes. Boop. Miss. What do you mean, miss? I thought the pool was it. I thought it was like on an inner tube or something. I guess I was wrong. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Dang, I really regret not hitting Monokuma now. I've got it. Ryoma's body was moved directly from his lab to the gym. Directly? Don't tell me they threw the body from window to window. I mean, we're talking about a body. It's not like tossing a baseball, you know. No, I don't believe he was thrown but perhaps another way. What do you mean another way? There's no other way to move it. The culprit must have used some kind of equipment. Hmm. Huh? Equipment? With this equipment, they can connect the two windows and move the body to the gym. It's that machine, obviously. Uh, a rope? There! The rope found behind the gym stage could have been used to connect the windows. Oh, there was a mysterious mystery about that rope that only Atua can reveal. What mysterious mystery? 
During last night's preparations for the show, that rope was in the wing of the stage. But the next morning, the rope had been moved backstage for some reason. It's a mysterious mystery. Only Atua knows the answer. So, during nighttime, someone used the rope, then threw it into the gym window? So they did use the rope! That's how they bridged the distance between both windows! Is the rope long enough to reach both windows? Oh, we know who knows that! We know the who rope knows is that! Roughly 65. Yes. According to the sign of the pool, the width of the pool is roughly 35 feet. And the distance from the edges of the pool to the windows is an additional 16 feet. Altogether, the sum total length from so one window to the other is roughly 50 feet. And pool is only thing between research lab and gym windows. You bet it's long enough. <laughs> That's what she said. Wait, who said that? <laughs> no, stop. stop. Even if the rope was long enough, wouldn't it be pretty hard to tie them to the windows? Both windows were too high to reach. It would be like tying a rope from one cliff to another. If the windows were closer together, then they could toss the rope across. But they're not. No, going to think it would work. Just need one more rope. That's what they use the tennis one for. Another rope. Oh. No, I'll, let me let me present. There it is. This is it. This is it. The tennis net cable from Ryoma's lab could serve as a rope. How long is it? I mean, come on, guys. I got nothing but facts over About here. About 50 feet or so. Okay, so. First, culprit hang rope outside of one window. Then, culprit move to other side. And tie cable to other window. Then, after tying to each window, Culprit tie rope and cable together. That how culprit make one rope that reach both windows. God, what an elaborate freaking plan. Wow, that's amazing, Gonta. You're so knowledgeable. Yeah, but the inner tube is going to be important. It, it's nothing. Gonta use ropes a lot when looking for bugs. Even if they did connect the windows with a rope, they can't carry a body on just that. Eureka! I got it! Thomas Edison once said that genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. But in my case, it's 100% inspiration. You get it. Just tell us already. They handcuffed the body to the rope and slid it from one window to the other, like Tarzan. Uh, the body would reach the gym window, but it wouldn't land in the piranha tank. Stop making such dumbass comments and keep your smelly breath in your dirty mouth. Uh <laughs> Tarzan? Um, but they also had to put the body in the piranha tank after they moved it, huh? That is not feasible with just one rope. Maybe the rope wasn't the only equipment uh, that- Enter tube, skip! Well, anyway, I got it. we wouldn't just throw it. I can't sit here and listen. Well, I know, it's, it's, it's too much really torture. All right, Shuichi, the stage is finally set. What? Oh, Listen the broskies. Do a good job here, and I'll be able to put an end to this trial. It all <laughs> starts with you. You be the opening act, and I'll be the main event. Wait a minute. What are you saying? And then together, we're going to save everyone. Together? You got this. After all, you are my sidekick. Is it you? I believe in you. So I'm going to leave the rest to you. But he said he was innocent. That would be yeah. stupid. Why would he randomly be like, oh, I... It's my time. It's my time to die. All right, I can do this. All right, I, can I get an eye? Is there a Batman symbol here? Oh, rope? That's rope. Rope, what? Hey, look at I only have one heart. I barely survived that. Yes, that's it. What's a rope way? A rope way, huh? Are you sure about that? Wow, you got drain damage or something? You need some damage? kind of vessel to use on a rope way and we don't have that. What a game is this? Mind mine. In the scenes we have to deduce an image's mind mine will begin. This is a minesweeper? Okay, all right, I got it. Gotta play honey pop over here. Find the answers. Oh, I think I messed up, guys. I don't think I'm doing very good here. Oh, 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 no, I had it. All right, that was actually pretty easy. I see it. I thought I had to take them all away. It's the inner tube. 
The rubber inner tube we found floating in the pool. The inner tube? Remember the yep. inner tube? We all... I knew it. Maybe the rope was originally tied on both sides. The culprit made Whoa. a ropeway by hanging the tube from the rope connecting okay, the Okay, you know windows. what? That's pretty surprising. I, I thought, like, it actually and touched the water. the third floor window is higher up, gravity would have pushed the inner tube along. The inner tube is made of sturdy rubber as well. <laughs> what? It kind of elaborate plan! The inner tube to construct a rudimentary ropeway. Hey, I know those feet. Whose feet are those? <laughs> I've memorized everyone's feet. themselves and Rioma's like body. Like a freaking weirdo. Once through the gym window, the culprit stood on the inner tube to move the body. Wait, wait a minute. Why is that? Why is this kind of looking like Gonta? Oh, no. I mean, I'm just saying this guy looks swole, dude. Right? No way. Yeah, if it's Gonta, I swear I'll be so mad. I will be actually mad. Either that or the culprit placed their foot on the windowsill. That way would be more stable and let them handle the corpse more carefully. This is crazy, man. Finally, they removed the rope from the window frame and left the scene. Yeah, to be able to carry him with one hand? That's Gonta. Who else could it be? Well, when you put it like that, Gonta, it no. certainly sounds possible. But wow, a ropeway. You say the culprit placed their foot on the windowsill. Isn't that against school rules? It would count as entering the gym, would it not? Last time we got asked that question, we decided it was okay. Uh, uh, last time? Sticking your body through the window is an automatic out, but standing on the sill is... Wait, who asked you last time? Yeah, Kibo, thanks. Eh? It is quite possible that the culprit went to you to confirm the details of their plan. Oh. No oh, shit! Oh, we didn't put no. your foot in your mouth. His foot? Monosuke just unhinged his jaw and swallowed his entire leg! <laughs> Cut it out! I can't write this off as a joke if you two keep freaking out about it's it! It's just a joke! You're on the threshold. <laughs> then your little slip-up is actually the truth! P pops Bongo, Daddy's mad at you now! Huh? Don't look at me. This is what you get for acting like a big shot all the time. Stop. Do not bully Monosuke. <laughs> huh? No more blaming each other. Everybody makes mistakes. Thanks, Mono Dam. I want us all to get along. Monodam's right! Monosuke, you better thank Monodam. Less attitude and more gratitude. Got it? You're on the threshold of an the trial was just getting fun. Why you gotta ruin it with that slip up? But I guess now we know Shuichi's logic is right on the money. So Colbert really used ropeway to move body? Oh, please don't say it's not gone, gone to. Yeah, they used the ropeway to move with the body from window to window. Ropeway murder? <laughs> Some crazy ass shit. But if the mechanism was that complicated, wouldn't it be hard to put it all away? Not necessarily. All one must do is detach the rope from the window after using the ropeway. Then, after returning to Yoma's lab, one could retrieve the rope from that side. Tossing the rope into the gym from the pool window would be the final step. The rope was thrown from the window. That's why we found it there. With that method, the culprit must have made numerous trips from Ryoma's lab to the pool. Which is why the crime was committed during nighttime, while we all slumbered. But if the culprit was so careful to recover the rope they used to commit the crime, why did they leave the inner tube in the pool? I believe that was an accident. An accident? Yes. When the culprit was taking down the inner tube, they accidentally dropped it. Then why did the culprit leave it in the pool? Because they were too scared of touching the water. That's it! Even if they wanted to get it, they couldn't, because this took place at nighttime. 
I see. They couldn't get... Yep. Got but it. couldn't Run they have the used the rope to fish it out? Not necessarily. You see, the water level in that pool is so low. Yeah, that would be hard. That's the only reason why the, the water is that way. Even if one tried to draw in the inner tube using the rope, the steep angle the rope would be at would make it nigh impossible. It'd be different if they used a pole. Who uses nigh? <laughs> no way a rope would work. Even if inner tube was closer to pool edge, water's still too low to drag tube in. Sounds like a lot of work. I can see why they just left it there. Yeah, it would take too long. And they would have been busted if someone saw them. She's huh! sweating. What kind of clumsy dipshit drops an inner tube and can't retrieve it? Let me tell you, this culprit's a real fucking amateur. No, actually. Save for that one mistake. This was the perfect crime. If Maki had never met up with Ryoma at nighttime, it might have been the end for us. No, I still don't know if Maki is telling the truth or not. Shut up. Personally, I find this culprit frighteningly thorough. Such a bold, beautiful plan. I never even imagined there was a ropeway. Oh, respect begins to bloom in my heart for this wonderfully cruel culprit. He loves his rope. What are you, stupid? Don't respect the culprit. No, respecting the culprit's intelligence is crucial in solving this case. We're so close, we're just one step away from the truth. Now, we just need to figure out who the culprit is. But of course, it would be pointless to unravel this mystery otherwise. So, who is- Man, This case got- it's got me guessing everyone now. Hmm, looks like it's time for me to start the main event. But my sidekick here is on a roll right now, so I'll let him take this one. Hmm? <laughs> You're just pushing okay. everything onto Shuichi because you don't know yourself. Well, Shuichi, do you already know who the culprit is? Crap, is this where I have to guess? Hey, Shuichi, are you hesitating again? No. Come on, man, there's no need for that. Like I said, you're my sidekick. I take responsibility for any mistakes my sidekick makes. So use those skills of yours I believe in to shove the truth down their throats. You... Believe in my detective skills? That's right! I'm gonna leave it all to you, Shuichi! It's Kaito! It's Kaito! I know it is! It's Kaito! I'm sure! Right? It's Kaito! He- he's the only one that knew about the tennis one! It's Kaito! Let's find out together. It's a Kaito. Oh. Oh, and I thought for sure! Damn it! Then who is it then? I actually don't know. Okay. He was my first suspect, cause just because I thought maybe it would be like, a, oh, like such a curveball, you know? Well, Miu is good at coming up with stuff, but I don't know. Uh, apparently she had an alibi, but I don't know. Oh, no, duh, no, 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 no. He did say he was good at rope stuff, but he knew exactly how long the rope was, and he respects the guy. I thought for sure. Oh, God, I'm guessing, I'm guessing, I'm guessing. This doesn't necessarily mean it's who it is. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna say Gonza, because there's no way. We got- I have to confirm this now. It's not Gonza. Whew. Okay, it's 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 Miu, isn't it? It's Miu. She's the only one that makes mechanisms. I didn't I didn't expect that though. That rope thing? Is it her? No! Oh, oh, so close. Alright, final answer. <laughs> final answer. It's Angie. Because I want it to be her. No god, are you kidding me? No, is it you? No. Maki? That's too obvious. I'll be mad. I'll be so mad if it's Maki. Maybe we maybe <laughs> Maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm right about what I said. She was jealous. She she wanted to protect Himiko. Oh my god, dude. I am like- I oh. was wrong! Okay, alright, 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 alright. Crap. Okay, you know what? It's her, isn't it? It's- 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 Is it her? It has to be you! Whoa! There's oh, no! one more thing I still have to confirm. But Kirumi is the prime suspect. Oh my god! I think I was right! She must have drugged him! Me? He what? asked for food! K Kirumi? That's what happened! Oh... So Kirumi is the culprit! That is not yet a certainty. Well, she can so Let us hear her testimony first. And stuff, but I don't see why she would do is all this. Is this true, Kirumi? I cannot believe you would suspect me. Oh, if crap. that is the case, then I will have to deny it. I will not let you make the wrong choice. The wrong choice? If you do believe it is me, are you prepared to stand by that yeah, decision? This isn't the final decision, right? I will refute your accusations with all my might, for everyone's sake. 
crap, man. No. Okay, all right, all right, let's see what you got. All right. I, of course, am not the culprit. Alibis for yesterday. The crime was committed at night time. And you have no alibi, do you? Technically. An alibi for night time? Not, no, no one does, really, I believe right? most of us do not have one. That's exactly what I said. Uh, I have evidence that proves you're the culprit. Uh, do you what? think we would fall for such nonsense? The trick relied on complex mechanisms to work. But someone like you could be skilled enough to pull it off. Preposterous. That could have been done by anyone. Mm. Kirumi is thin and has a nice body. So she and Ryoma <laughs> could have totally shared an inner tube. We all could have, except perhaps Gonta. You know what? I didn't even think of that. That's a good point. Oh, I, I'm gonna make one up. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, it works. I always reveal the truth. Wow. Yeah, we did have to lie. Okay. Cool. Maybe we can't prove everyone's alibi, what the <laughs> but we can still. Hey, you look at that! The There's a freaking Smash Mouth reference. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? Bravo, whoever made this! Wow, didn't expect that in the achievements. Last night, Kaido and I heard Maki speaking with. Yeah, this is still a lie, by the way. I'm starting to think of Shuichi. <laughs> but I haven't mentioned what happened after. Kirumi, any thoughts? Did you return to your respective dorm rooms? Yes. We did, but I couldn't fall asleep, so I was awake until morning, which allowed me to hear a certain sound in the night. Uh, a so we're trying to lie to get her to fess up. Last night, I heard the sound of someone leaving their room and exiting the door. And after some time, I heard the sound of them returning. Could it have been the culprit? But all you heard was a sound? That doesn't mean you know who made it. Indeed, it doesn't. But I didn't hear the sound of someone going down the stairs. Because they were so light on their feet. Which must mean that whoever left has a room on the first floor. Ooh. No one on the second floor left the dorm that night. So everyone on the second floor has an alibi? You cannot determine the culprit with just that. On the contrary, once we rule out the second floor, we know who the culprit is. Because preparing the ropeway required time to be spent in the gym. It's extremely likely that the culprit helped set up the magic show. In short, Himiko, Angie, Kaito, or Kirumi. I see. So among the four, the only one with a room on the first floor of the dorms is... Yes. Only Kirumi. But I'm making that up. It wasn't a very elegant, but uh, my lie was certainly plausible. Will they buy it? Hmm. You heard a sound, huh? Well, I hear a load of BS. Oh, do you? But unfortunately what does that sound like? for you, Kirumi, your time's up. We already know you're the only one capable of setting all this up. Right, Shuichi? Well, that was an unexpected assist. Right. The only person who could have prepared this murder is Kirumi. Well, the preparations in the gym in any case. And why do you believe that? Before the culprit could put the body into the tank, Several steps needed to be taken. Like tying the rope to the gym window and putting a particular. Mm -hmm. That's right. Ryoma's body entered the gym from the window, but that required preparation. That could only have been done when Kirumi was by herself in the gym before nighttime. But Kirumi was alone in the gym for only like five minutes. Not enough time for the whole murder, but enough time to set it up. Enough time to tie the rope on the window frame and put the pain in the piranha tank. This is my selfless devotion. Oh, she doesn't agree. While I do understand where you are coming from, I assure you this is just a part of your petty imagination, an empty theory created from nihilism. Okay, we'll see. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Okay. Marked window frame. Ooh. If it were solely the rope and partition, I suppose five minutes might be enough time. I accept that. However, the crux of your argument is not but a guess. You continue to force the facts to conform to your misguided narrative when you consider that the crux of your argument is faulty. Your entire case falls apart. Okay. What do you mean by crux of the argument? How is it just a guess? I am referring to the rope. 
Now with that rope, it is possible to reach the gym window from the third floor window. But there is no evidence to indicate this. Oh, happened. you're wrong. I'll cut through your words. Oh, she didn't know about the mark that she left. Did she really do it? I have evidence. The abrasions left on the window frames at the gym and the lab. Were those scratches from when the rope was tied to the window frame? Just tying the rope to the frame wouldn't cause so much damage. The rope that was tied to the frames must have been weighed down significantly. The frames didn't break, but they were left with distinct marks. So if they were weighed down, then someone had to have been heavy enough those to weigh it down. Those scratches are proof that you used a rope to carry the body to the windowsill. You would be heavy, wouldn't you? Wait a minute. Oh? What's wrong, Kirumi? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Hey, what's wrong? Hey, hey, but, hey, hey! I don't, uh, okay, I don't follow exactly, Kirumi but... Kirumi quiet, cause... Cause that's what happened? Please answer us, Kirumi! Shuichi is doing this for your sake! If it is for my sake, then it would be much easier to forfeit. But I cannot allow that! Because I must do this for everyone! I have a duty and a responsibility. I what? must serve everyone and protect them. So I refuse to surrender. They won't forgive me if I do. Where is this coming from? Her response seems genuine. So what did she mean by everyone? Is she doing this for all of our sakes? Am I wrong? Is Kirumi innocent? No. I am... I'm wrong again. Hey, Kirumi. Who exactly is this everyone you're talking about? Kaito? I've... Just got a weird feeling about this. When you said everyone, it felt like you weren't talking about us. It felt like you were talking about someone who isn't here. Someone who isn't here? Someone outside of the academy? Hey, do you think Kirumi saw her own motive video? Oh. Huh? The motive video? You saw your important someone in danger, so you committed murder, right? Is that true? I am so sorry for making such a mess. Because of that, I made all of you assume something unnecessary. Unnecessary? You saying I'm wrong? This everyone you're talking about? It is all of you, of course. Really? Do you swear to Atua? Swear to Atua right now. Yes, really. So please believe me. I am not the culprit. I do not care what becomes of me, but I will not allow any of you to die. Because I made a promise to Kaede, she wished for all of us to escape together. I want to fulfill my duties as the ultimate maid. I wish to serve everyone. So please believe me. You have to! Kirumi! Um, are we totally sure Kirumi's the culprit? Maybe it's someone else! Are we sure Kokichi isn't the culprit? <laughs> How rude. G Gunta just can't believe Kirumi would kill Ryuma. Kirumi's breakfasts were the best. She always treated us so well. She really is like a mom. Perhaps it was after she gained our trust that she saw her chance to strike. You really are screwed up. Screwed up from head to toe. Even through your clothes, I can tell. Shuichi, please reconsider suspecting me as the culprit. You only suspect me because I was at the gym during nighttime yesterday, correct? But you cannot accuse me of being the culprit with that insufficient proof. It is still possible for Maki and Kaito to have gone to the gym. They do not have alibis. They could have pretended to help Himiko, but secretly prepared the murder. When you put it that way, it does seem possible. We can't accuse Kirumi just based on our alibis! Guys, maybe suspecting Kirumi is wrong. Yeah, maybe we should think it over one more- I made a promise. As the ultimate detective, I made a promise to seek the truth. I made a promise to Kaede, so I'm not turning back now. We did only just lie about things, but she did kind of slip up. She didn't know about the- well... So you still believe I am the culprit? But there is no evidence to indicate that I am- No, there is. I have proof that you're the culprit. I realized it when we determined that the rope weight was used to move the body. 
If it was indeed Kirumi who moved the body with a makeshift ropeway, then the final clue falls into place. The final clue? The damning evidence that proves Kirumi is the culprit. Uh, what? The, the cloth? What was that, though? Shuichi, won't you please tell me why you are so desperate to pin me as the culprit? Is it because your clothes are black? Don't you want to protect everyone? I'm doing this because I want to protect everyone. Shuichi. Then you're wrong. Your deduction is all wrong. Your words aren't going to convince me now. Not when I know Ooh, the truth. Shuichi, have mercy. All you care about is your own reasoning. You don't even listen to others. I can't bet everyone's lives on a deduction made by a self-righteous brat. You can't save anyone! No more doubts. I'm confident I'm right. I'm going to present everyone the evidence that proves she's guilty. It's the black cloth. It's, it belonged to her then. Gotta be it. This is it! The piece of black fabric in the pool. That's the final clue that proves you're guilty. It's been bothering me for a while. I couldn't figure out what it was. I thought it was just trash at first. But I couldn't dismiss it entirely. Now that the class trial has come this far, I know for certain. It's her dress must have gotten caught on it's something. It's an important piece of the puzzle. Because like the inner tube, it's evidence the culprit couldn't dispose of. Huh? What? Using the ropeway, you could slide the inner tube from the lab to the gym. But how would you control it? If it kept sliding and hit the window, the momentum would have thrown the body off. To prevent that from happening, the culprit needed some way to adjust well, the they speed. used their own piece of clothes or something. For example, the culprit could have used their hands for friction. Yeah, so what? You're still wrong. She has gloves on, though. Kirumi, why are you becoming increasingly erratic? There is such absolute beauty in trying to fight against the truth. What? Shri I just want them to explain how how he got murdered or how like he she caught on to him or something. That black cloth is just trash. You can't prove I'm the culprit with just No, it's not just trash. It's proof that you're the culprit. <laughs> I'll make it all clear now! Ah, uh, it really is her. Like is that? I was supposed to hide them, I get it. Oh, I'm the one pressing the buttons here. You shut up. Hey, what's the game unless you press buttons? You're out. Sorry. The final blow. Oh, here we go again. That piece of trash prove. Gloves, Miss Rue Key. Yeah, that. <laughs> okay, here we go again, guys. Rumi's key gloves. I completely understand. Key Rumi's gloves. It ends here. That's that's that's. I just misclicked. It was a misclick. Oh God. Sorry, I got the sun the on me. The piece of fabric came from Kirumi's black glove. Really? That's a big piece of fabric, though. Kirumi's glove? If the culprit were slowing their descent by grabbing the rope with their hands, there would have been a lot of friction. Easily enough to cause rope burn. Okay, I thought it was like from the but dress or something. But our culprit was smart. They weren't burned because they weren't barehanded. Yeah, the culprit had gloves on. One got all torn up from the friction and, and it fell into pool? From what I remember, the only one who wears black gloves is Kirumi. The gloves on your hands now. I take it they're from your dorm? The extra uniforms in our rooms are made of the same material we're wearing now. We can test my theory by comparing the fabric scrap with your glove. <laughs> oh no, she's sweating! Well, Kirumi, will you allow us to compare the black fabric we found in the pool with your gloves? Huh? What's the matter? Why are you sweating so much? Kirumi, what's wrong? <laughs> well, I think it's unfortunate, but I'm not, su I'm not super sad about her. In the end, I'm just like them. I'm scared of revealing the truth. I gotta close my window. Grub Chan, what, what, what do you think about all this? Because it means that someone has to be sacrificed, but Kaede was scared too. She didn't let that stop her. She thought things through to the end. I faced the truth and doubted it. I kept thinking and kept going. This is where it led me, and I won't turn away from it. I will show you the truth. And this is where we do our final matching game. All right, so she jumped in the pool. 
That all matches up fine. Ryoma looks taller here. God, I only have two hearts left. This is bad. All right, here it is, guys. This is how it all went down, right here. The victim's body was found this morning during Himiko's underwater escape act. I like the little animations. Ow, sorry. Sorry. When we saw the piranhas in the tank, we thought that Himiko's escape failed. Of course, it was all part of the act. Himiko's escape went perfectly. But when Angie opened the curtain in front of the tank, we saw Ryoma with piranha swarming around him. I thought for sure Angie, man. Before any of us could react, the piranhas devoured Ryoma's body. And all that was left were his bones and the handcuffs he was wearing. That horrifying sight was the finishing touch on the culprit's own twisted magic trick. The culprit obfuscated the time and place of the murder, implicating Himiko in the process. I mean, that was super smart though, right? I, I think, I gotta hand it to him. In truth, the crime began last night around 8.55 p.m. While preparing for the show in the gym, the culprit had a chance to be alone. It was then that the culprit used the ladder to reach the piranha tank and removed the glass lid to put inside the tank. They used it as a partition to force the piranhas to one side of the tank. Next, the culprit took the rope from the stage wing in the gym. And used the ladder once more, this time to climb up to the gym's window. Once there, they opened the window and tied one end of the rope to the window frame. The rope was then thrown out the window toward the pool. These preparations were key for the culprit's elaborate plan. She just doesn't seem like the person that would do that, you know? It's totally random. I'm sure the motive video at is gonna explain time, it. Past midnight, the culprit asked Ryoma to meet at his lab. All the pieces were in place. The culprit was ready to murder. Yeah, this is how I need to see, like, what happened. <laughs> First, the culprit knocked Ryoma out, probably striking him from behind. But wouldn't that have left blood? Oh, she could have cleaned it, I guess. Then, they put the handcuffs from the shower room on Ryoma's wrists. Ooh, that's dark. And shoved his head into the sink filled with water. Why should she take her gloves off though? From the water and the pain of drowning, Ryoma should have woken up and struggled. The culprit anticipated his resistance, which is why Ryoma was handcuffed. The struggle left scrapes on the cuffs and sink, but in the end, Ryoma succumbed. Ryoma was dead, but the culprit's plan had only just begun. Poor little dude, he was just so little, you know? He couldn't really defend himself. He was fast, but not fast enough, apparently. They removed the cable from the tennis net and hung it from the window facing the pool. I just feel like this game's so misleading because it gives you so many clues to think that, oh, that could be that person, but then they freaking just do a 360 on you or a 180. And then at the pool, they connected the wire and the rope from the gym window. They returned to the lab after picking up one last thing.
the rubber inner tube that was in the pool's tool shed. Once back in the lab, the culprit pulled the cable, bringing up the rope. They pulled until the rope was taut, then tied it to the lab's window frame. And thus, the gym and the lab windows were connected by a single rope. After making a hanger of sorts with another length of rope tied to the inner tube, they hung the inner tube on the rope connecting the windows. So much could have That's went wrong. How the what if they would have the ropeway that was used to move the body. An impressive premeditated murder, but the culprit made two crucial mistakes. They fought it really loud during it, and everyone heard it. <laughs> the culprit got on the I wish there was a trial the like that and slid toward the gym. With the height difference between the windows, they would have built up quite some speed to avoid crashing through the window. The culprit used a brake. They used their own Cuts hand to grip the rope and slow down. That would have caused significant rope burn. But due to the friction, part of a glove tore off and dropped in the pool. I'm sorry, but like, I feel like that piece of fabric was, does not, like that did not symbolize a glove at all. That was like a piece of clothing. Right, her glove is not that big, but yeah, in the game, they make the freaking fabric look this big. Am I, am I wrong about that? So like, yeah, there's no way I could have myself came up with that. It was a little piece, it was a big piece of fa fabric and it should have been really little. Regardless, the culprit reached the window and put Ryoma's body into the piranha Like if it was tank. this big, yeah, that would have made so much more sense. The glass sense. pane not only kept the piranhas and the body separated, it also kept the piranhas so close together they concealed the body. After that, all the culprit had to do was untie the rope and the inner tube, but that's when they made their second mistake. One end of the rope came loose and the inner tube dropped into the pool. <laughs> uh, see? Look how little that piece of fabric is! I'm telling you, that's Thus, some bullcrap! the culprit crap. was forced to leave two key pieces of evidence. The fabric and the inner tube. In her he hand, man. the evidence because of the rule against swimming at nighttime. Ooh. Just never would have expected it. Totally right-filled, man. Or left-filled. And that's the whole story. Hey, Am when, I wrong, Kirumi Tojo? When is Shuichi the get the ultimate them? maid? Eyelashes, though. That's the oh, conclusion I, I guess reached. he's already he's always had them. Do I never have any objections. I never noticed him until now. Not <laughs> like that's what I'm concerned about. This is very, very unfortunate, Shuichi. My pride as a maid demands that I fulfill every request that I receive. Someone, oh, someone said it. Oh my god, guys, I am the ultimate intuition without even freaking realizing it. I said, what if someone asked her to kill somebody? She would have to do it. But the question is who? But to end like this. Does that mean you admit it? Is that what happened though? Shirumi. Am I right? Why use your own gloves though? The warehouse should have had plenty. There weren't any. Obviously, she would have used them if they were available. Jeez, Monokuma provided everything but the gloves. That's pretty sadistic. But thanks to him, at least the game became way more interesting. So, it's decided. This case was decided the moment someone, who shall not be named, opened their big mouth. But oh, when you don't know that, maybe the real culprit is someone nobody expects. That is right. No need to worry. Oh, Monotem, you're like a mommy taking care of her sick child. All right, let's go! We still don't know why she did it, though. The heart-racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless finally face off! It's voting time! Okay, I know. <laughs> Very surprising, guys. Now then, 
It seems the mm -hmm. vote. It's quite obvious. You don't have to go through all this. Hey, 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 hey. Why do I? Well, who voted for me? Karumi? <laughs> Karumi voted for me. <laughs> Chosen as the blatant. Will you make the right choice? Or Kirumi, explain yourself. Why would you do this? Alright, she's gonna get murdered by cleaning supplies. She's gonna get smacked with a broom. A giant broom. Oof, this is a long one, guys. A long one indeed. Alright, yep, that's definitely her, alright. What it had to be Kurumi. Who will cook now? That's the thing. I feel like the, the most helpful person always dies. This is yeah. stupid. We're all gonna have trash food now. How long have you been lying to us? The truth is. Is that why you took such good care of us so you can deceive everyone? You mean she's not my mom? I can't say for certain, but I can sense this trial has been agonizing for her. You can't say for certain, hmm? That's why a that's what a detective would say. Oh. Kurumi, are you upset? Because of the people important to you? Um. You mean like the motive video? So Kurumi watched hers after um. all. Earlier, Kurumi mentioned that she had accepted a request. Perhaps that request came from someone important in her motive video. What's wrong? Do you have nothing to say for yourself? I do not agree. No, that's not it. I'm just lost. Because if I tell you why I did it, you will regret what you've just done. Damn. Spit it out already. Oh, you mean like, she must have done it for a really important reason? Please! Tell us. I care about you a lot, and I know the others care about you too. So please. Ooh, she's actually saying something nice for once. Understood. If you're all so desperate to know. I take that request. Ooh, she's gonna well, say it. Know. It was because of my motive video. <sighs> As I thought, you indeed watched your video. Does that mean someone broke the agreement and traded you your, your motive video? <laughs> Alright, which one of you did it? Close your eyes and raise your hand if it was you. What are you saying? Why would the one raising their hand need to close their eyes? Yeah. That won't be necessary. I did not trade my motive video with anyone. Oh, she must have stole it. She cleaned it. Oh wait, did she have her own? Oh, wow! She had her own. I, I thought that might happen. I have no idea why. That's not possible. You know, I meant to bring this up earlier because it's been bugging me for a while. All this talk about videos being switched, what does that mean exactly? Don't play dumb. You're the one who switched up all the motive no, videos. No. Oh, I did it. Uh, it was them. Oh, I was supposed to ask that. Did you come screw it up again? Huh? Not supposed to. Dumbass! It's all Monami's fault. Or Mona Fanny's fault. She passed them out without checking the names. <laughs> So it was all their fault, and that wasn't supposed to happen. Well, they made things interesting. I apologize. I should have been more careful. No. It's not your fault. Okay. I'm sorry, too. Yeah. It seems I misunderstood. Yeah. I completely yeah. forgot the plan all along was to redistribute the videos. Daddy. Hey. It's not your fault. All, it's not all your fault, kids. It's my fault for forgetting. Father. What is this mushy feel-good crap? You stupid. You're all idiots. I'm through getting along with you dummy bears. Well, I'm sorry to cause so much trouble. Please continue your boring conversation. <laughs> So savage, man. So she just, it was just luck that she got her own. So what was in your video? What's wrong? Well, you promised to tell us yes. everything. All right. Back by popular demand, it's time for the motive video. Who's the most important person in your life? And now, without further ado, Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. With clients in politics and finance, this elite maid is renowned for completing any request. One fateful day. She was suddenly summoned by one of her most influential clients, the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister had a request of utmost importance. Bro, what's wrong with that flag? He requested that she use her talent as the ultimate maid to serve her country. He asked Kirumi to Make this country great again. And transferred all his authority to her. What was that? Was that a, was that a Donald Trump reference? <laughs> Even kind of made the voice too. That's kind of funny. No one <laughs> suspected that the prime minister's new secretary was secretly running the country. That totally was. And over time, she became the de facto prime minister. Only Kirumi could save the country from impending doom. Yes. The future of the country rests entirely on her capable shoulders. Well, that's completely random. Trust it to a maid? My God. But Kirumi is up to the task, for she only accepts requests that only she can fulfill. She is driven by the belief that her citizens are the most important people in her life. Oh, 
And while we're on the subject of those important people, an unfortunate event will soon befall those vermin and sheeple. What event, you ask? It's a secret. Find out for yourself. It can't be. Wh what? The Prime Minister? Yes. Everything you saw is true, though I only remembered it upon watching that video. Wait! Oh yeah, because of her memories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? So she is the Prime Minister, and the most important people to me is everyone. This is my selfless devotion. Are the devotion. citizens of this country. I was called upon to lift the country out of a dire situation. I swore to serve and help all its citizens. As the ultimate maid, I have advised politicians many times in the past. But he wanted me to prioritize saving the country from an unprecedented crisis. I fully accepted this request. As a maid, it is a great honor to serve the nation itself. So she literally did everything. You're literally confusing the crap out of me because this makes no sense and I gotta take a dump. I see. <laughs> so Kur Kirumi was the real prime minister running the country. Huh? How could you seriously believe that a high schooler could be a prime minister? You really Keep don't get it. Yeah. I don't think it's odd that ultimate level talent could be that powerful. I mean, Keyboy's talent lets him pretend to be human even though he's a heartless robot. Oh, rude! <laughs> so rude. I see. Oh, well, good luck, I guess. <laughs> Incredible. I was aware of I was aware of Kirumi's impressive talents, but Prime Minister, what? the Kirumi fr uh, really is Prime Minister. She holds the burden of this country's future. Actually, the motive video aside, Kirumi doesn't seem like she'd lie about something like that. Yeah, but what's the unprecedented crisis? I do not know. I can't I remember. Uh, um, With our memories lost, you know. That's isn't this just like the ultimate hunt? That is correct. Perhaps it is connected. The ultimate hunt. Huh? I do not know what is happening to the nation while I am here inside the end wall. That's what I ne needed to know. I needed to know what the most important people in my life were safe. Because I am duty and honor bound to protect every citizen of this nation. If she wanted to protect someone, why she kill them? Okay, so she did that because it was better to kill someone rather than, you know, not everyone. She needed to survive. I get it. Okay. And we stopped Kur Kurumi from doing that because we selfishly wanted to live. I don't like what that. What should we do? Did we just make a terrible mistake? Oh, that's why she said she you'd feel sorry. We pretty much destroyed the country. What do we do? Wait. No, I think the country's already destroyed, I'm sure. I am the ruler of this world. Nothing is beyond my power. Huh? Nothing? What kind of arrogant- What kind of arrogance? It's impossible that he could bring disaster to a country. Yeah, <laughs> he probably can. You guys act like you can't believe it, but you're all terrified anyway. Shing. If you can't believe it, then you're terrified for no reason. <laughs> Why do humans lie? Why are humans the only animal that tells lies? This is serious. Oh, oh. How long are you going to keep talking about Kirumi? Dang it. Let's talk about Ryoma. It would be a shame to completely neglect him. Oh, I see. That's right. We know your motive to kill. That's why you wanted to kill Ryoma specifically. Or, but why? That is. Because he was easy to kill. Huh? Ryoma not that weak. When he used the Shikuchi method, even Gonza could not catch. I do not agree. His physical strength was irrelevant when he did not have a reason to live. Do you agree? Without that, he became the weakest among us. Huh? I took advantage of his weakness and killed him. Um, what do you mean? That is. I told him I had an urgent matter to discuss and to meet me uh, in the research lab. There, I revealed my motive video, and afterwards I told that him. That is correct. Oh, she let him know the truth, and then he just... Let him? Let her? I don't know. Then he responded. Got it. So you got a reason to survive. That's the complete opposite of me. <laughs> hmm, that's good. Or... If you got something to live for, it means your life has value. <laughs> After he said that, he told me he would clean up uh, the tennis balls lying around. And then, and then he, he turned, turned his, his back toward oh, me. Oh, so he knew. Yeah, he he knew. At that moment, my determination solidified. I'm wearing a hat now. When I started this episode, the sun was shining bright. It is now dark. Walk in, walk in. Your brakes done. This despair train has no brakes. Okay. At that moment, my determination solidified. A person oh, like him would have noticed my bloodthirst emanating. He forfeited his life right then and there. Oh. He obviously did, yeah. That is correct. Ryoma was a good guy, you know? Then... I'll say that. Wait a minute, it's Maki's fault that Ryoma decided he didn't want to live anymore. Ryoma only gave up on life after you showed him his motive video. Well, since you didn't watch the motive video, I guess you had no way of knowing. What are you talking about? What's your point? Wait! Wait a minute, you're talking as if Ryoma saw the motive video. Didn't you say he only checked the name and didn't watch the video? Mm -hmm. Did I say that? Huh? What are you getting at? Well, you know. I probably shouldn't say anything, but someone had to ste step up and speak for poor Ryoma. I told you. Again, what's your point? That he gave up on life because I showed him his motive video? Um... I'll get to that in a sec. But why do you think Ryoma wanted to see his motive video? Because he was looking for a reason to live. Isn't that right, Maki? Why? How do you know that? 
What? Swap motive videos? Didn't we agree not to show them to each other? Yeah. I remember. Because once you watch them, you've got a motive to kill. But... But if it shows someone important to me, I'd really like to see that. Hey. Any idea who that who will be in no. the video? I don't. That's why I want to see it. He's like, I'm looking. <laughs> I really want to know. Once I've... Once I knew I've got someone important to me, I have a reason to live. Jeez. Probably he's got a kid he don't know about. Dang. He does more than playing some tennis. If I've got a reason to live, then I got a reason to escape here with you guys. In other words. That video might just give me a motive to live. You're right, he was looking for a reason to live. Which means you shouldn't have shown him his motive video in the first place. Hey. What do you mean? What? Did his video show? Ah. Nothing, his motive was empty. Huh? Empty. Okey oh, we're up next. Let's give it a watch, shall we? It's just a black screen. Kind of sad though, really. All right, back by popular demand, it's time for the motive video. Who's the most important person in your life? And now, without further ado, this shows like a tennis ball. Oh, this message is for Ryoma Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. Unfortunately, there is no one in the world who is important to you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Really, I am. You have my deepest sympathies. When Monokuma's apologizing, you know it's sad. Sorry. 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 No one was important to him? Always messing around. That's what he was shown? If he saw something like that, mm. he had none he had none to care for and none who cared for him. He found no motive to live. Because of that, he chose to let Kurumi claim his life. I see. So that's why. He must have just watched that video before I summoned him to meet with me. <laughs> He just gave up then? Yeah. To heck with that, that dang moron. But, but... It's bad to have no reason to live, but it's also bad to have too many reasons to live. Because... That's why you did such a terrible thing, right Kurumi? For too many reasons? Yes. I would bear the burden of being seen as evil for the sake of my nation and its people. Because that is what it's meant to serve with selfless de devotion. That's why I needed to survive. Sacrificing you all meant saving the lives of men, women, children, and elderly. My apologies. I wanted to live. Ah, uh, it's okay. It's alright. Monokuma! Gonta have question. You need something? What is it? Hey. Can Gonta be blackened instead of Kurumi? No, Gonta, no! Gonta not smart boy, but even Gonta understand what everyone's saying. <laughs> Kurumi should live, not Gonta. World needs her. I was thinking the same thing. I don't want to die, but Kurumi's life is way too uh, more valuable than mine. <laughs> Kurumi's got the lives of hundreds of millions of people on her shoulders, right? Unfortunately. Logically, Kurumi's survival would result in fewer casualties than our collective survival would. Jeez, maybe it would have been better if we'd gotten the culprit wrong. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, if Krumi survives and the nation's future will be secure, then what was the point of me doing all this? Why did I reveal the truth? What have I done? I, I mean, I, I guess, but I mean, I wouldn't have wanted to die. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think so. I feel like they could just replace her. I, unless she really is that good, I guess. What kind of face is that, Shuichi? If you're my sidekick, then suck it up. Huh? What? Hey! That goes for all of you. To hell with all this value of life crap. All right. Life's not just something. You can't trade it for a, or put a price on it. Kaito. Listen up. And your life doesn't just belong to you. It's for your parents, your grandparents, your friends, even your neighbors. I mean... It's not something you can just decide to throw away on your own. Don't worry about it. So we didn't do the wrong thing. Life's supposed to be lived. As long as you stay alive, anything's possible. You can even go to the stars. As he's saying all this, Kurumi's like, oh. Of course. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I wanna live. See, I'd said, I'd said somebody would want to live. I haven't even traveled to space yet. There's no way in heck I'm going to die here. Jeez. The idiot's talking again. What? But he's right. I mean, you're right, too. He's an idiot, but he's right. So divine. He's an Atua damned idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but idiots always fill me with inspiration. Shut up! Shut up! I told you to stop calling me an idiot. What? Maybe his stupid speech is just what we needed to hear. Kurumi certainly looks shaken by it. Shaken? Because? Do you really think someone as desperate to live as Kurumi would give up so easily? Of course not. In fact, she probably still hasn't given up even now. <laughs> she was hoping that learning the truth would make one of us volunteer to die in her place. I don't think it's. I don't think you can do that. Huh? That's not a rule that that people can do. But Monokuma would never allow a black to escape punishment. So maybe she wanted everyone to rebel so she could use that to cover. It. Oh, to an escape. I would love to see someone actually try. I mean, I've always <laughs> wondered why they don't at least try. They just let it all happen. But you might as well go down with a fight. You know, go swing a Monokuma, at least. How about it, Kurumi? Am I close? You are the most detestable cretin I've ever met. You knew exactly what I would what I would attempt, yet allowed me to explain anyway. Uh? Wait, what he's what he said was true? You, mean? you tried to trick Gonta to try to trick everyone? Really? 
Seriously, you backstabbing bad word? Cut it out. Enough, she was just trying to stay alive in her own way. Nobody can blame her for that. That's, correct. That's right, I must survive. Because I carry the weight of an entire nation on my shoulders. I would not have killed Ryoma if I was so easily deterred. This request will not be fulfilled until I have brought joy to every citizen of this nation. You must live. So no matter what, I cannot die. That is why I killed Ryoma. Even now, I refuse to give up. Huh? Kurumi. I see. You still refuse to give up, so what do you intend to do? You must live. I intend to live. I must survive no matter what it takes. She's gonna go out swinging. That's what I want to see. If I must debase myself, so be it. I would drink filth and eat uh, carrion to survive. What? I will survive. Ooh, what is she gonna do? She screamed and started running. Woo! This is what I'm talking about. Some a change. Ah! <laughs> all right, God. All right, all right. Chill. You're just your life's on the line. That's all. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was completely an uh, indignified exit. I have to escape. I won't die I honestly here. hope she gets away. That'd be actually really cool. Ah! <laughs> There's no way I'm letting you out of here. Oh, that's, this is sad, actually. It was ugly and raw and feral, but she just ran as fast as she could. I heard my voice call out. Uh, run! Damn it. Run, Kurumi! Please run! You can do it! Hurry! I just kept running and running. Damn. Dang. Hey. I'm sorry, I don't know why I make jokes like that. <laughs> I want her to leave. I want her to escape. She deserves it. She doesn't no one in this game deserves to die. I think someone should slap Monokuma. I know they can't, but I, I wish they would. Like I said, I'm not letting you leave. Please! Run! I will live. I refuse to die in a hellhole like this. No. I, I'm with you. I've prepared a special punishment oh, no. for Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. For my nation. For my people. Let's give it everything we've got. He has to say it's this. It's punishment time. I will not die. Oh my God. What is he gonna do? Catch her? Kirumi has been found guilty. I like how Monica was chasing her. God. Oh, right, she is running. Who's chasing her? Notice to quit? Strand of Agony. Oh, she can leave, but. Oh, that's so messed up! Oh! Oh, oh! My god! Really? She's gonna go through that? Oh! Oh! Oh, come on, you can do it! What if she actually gets out for once? Oh! Oh my god! Oh! It's gonna get cut. Oh, is he, it's gonna be Monokuma with some scissors or something. I can freaking see this. It was nothing? Oh no! Someone is gonna die! He drank his glasses! Oh my god. That, that is probably the most brutal, uh, uh, elimination that we've ever seen. That definitely takes the cake. Really? Why, Monodam? Why did you kill Monosuke? <laughs> if you need to vomit, let it out. You will feel much better afterwards. Monosuke, he was no different from Mono Kid. He was getting in the way of us getting along. It's fine. We don't need him. Monodam's the most evilest one. Yeah? Don't need him. We feel remaining mono cups must get along. We are all no friends. matter what, he we must always get along. Not even Father can stop us from getting along. I will not, forget not if that. he knows what is good for him. Huh? Oh, oh! Uh, this academy belongs to us. The age of the mono cups begins now. They're revolting! Uh, uh, oh my God! He actually he's actually gonna freaking kill Mono Monokuma. How dare he take the rebellious tone with me, young man? That's and yet nice. this hasty attitude of yours is just so cute. So it's so cute how you little the little crew has shrunk by one member. Yep, shrunk. You're not getting any larger, you know. So it's so unbearably cute. cute. 
All this cuteness makes me feel like I'm about to sneeze. Oh my god. Ah. Uh. How horrible! <laughs> what kind of sneeze is that? <laughs> Who are you calling an ugly bit? Stop it! It doesn't matter. Now's not the time for that. <laughs> Kirumi! I don't no! Like that. I can't take this anymore. Even Kirumi was killed so brutally. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. Am I gonna end up like that too? I'll protect you. I won't let that happen, Himiko. I'll protect you no matter what. I'll protect you no matter what. But I don't want to do this anymore either. Please, let's just stop this killing game. I don't care if we stay trapped here forever. Come on, come on. Oh, is that what a two said? All desire, even your desire to escape this place, can corrupt you beyond redemption. <laughs> It's Madakuma who is corrupt. He is the one who distributed the motive videos. Yes. Those videos were more dangerous than we thought to have driven Kirumi that far. Monster. What worries me, as long as we're trapped here, we don't know what true, what's true or false. Okay. That must be why Kirumi did not want to show the videos. She thought if everyone felt the same murderous rage that she did, this killing game would be pure chaos. She wanted to stop it. Hey, hey. If that's the case, then we really should show our videos to each other. Of course. That was our consensus from the beginning, not including you, of course. However, I had assumed Kokichi should would try to show us, us the videos to get under our skin, but would not come to pass what I wonder were his intentions. Uh, I'd never do anything like that. I'm still thinking about what Kurumi said. Uh, um, what she said? Everything you just saw is true, though I only remembered it upon watching that video. That's... What she said earlier, correct? Huh? What about it? Uh, she um, said she remembered it didn't sound like a lie either. Maybe that video had the properties of a flashback light. Still, how could Kurumi remember something she never should have forgotten? Serving the entire nation just seems too important for- Everyone forgets! Does that mean we have motives to kill that we'll remember by watching our videos? And if that's the case, maybe it's for the best if we don't watch the videos. As long as we don't see the videos, we won't know our motives. Okay. Yeah, for now I'm convinced it's probably for the best. Those motive videos would mess us up. It's better if we just believe in each other. Yeah. That's right, it's best if we not remember our motives, for everyone's sake. Oh dear. Hearing you speak of everyone's sake is the least believable lie I've heard yet. That's so mean. How rude, I'm always uh, doing stuff for everyone's sake. It's a lie. I'm sure you won't believe what I'm saying. He just said I'm lying. Mm -hmm. But maybe seeing Kurumi's final moments has made me change my views. Because? She tried to escape until the very end. Running away to live might not be a bad idea. You're right. Maybe, maybe facing the truth isn't That's enough. That's right. Yeah, it's okay to run sometimes, you just gotta win in the end. That's all you gotta do. <sighs> and with that, the second cl class trial ended. I'm just over here drinking my coffee. And what is the end that Kaito spoke of and how did we reach it? I don't know. I still don't know. Oh, it's not done yet? This chapter is still not done? We should uh, rest. To me, that seems the most rational course of action. You're right. Yeah, my brain's out of juice from going full throttle all day. Why you? Like you have an extra- like you even have a brain to use. I won't forgive you. Anyway, this killing game is over. I won't allow it to go on. It'll be okay. It'll be fine as long as we listen to Atua, of course. What's wrong? Gonta, what, what's, what's, what's going mm. on? It's just, even with all this bad stuff happening, stars are always so pretty. But He always knows just what to say. The stars here different, not the same ones Gonta used to. Uh, um, Wait, different? What do you mean? Mm. Yeah, Gonta looking, but no can find star he remembers. Why? But why? We were taken somewhere far away? Far away. Hey, so let's all head back already. I'm wiped out. Uh, okay. Are they like on another planet or something? I don't know about that, but I wouldn't be surprised if some crazy to us like that happens. Hold on, I have to tell you guys something. Huh? Uh, what now? Like I said, I'm wiped out. Now, now, it won't take that long. So just listen to what I have to say. What is it? Well, um... everyone seems to be treating me like some kind of compulsive liar because, well, you are. So you yeah, that's it? why they would do that. But that's ridiculous. There's no, there's a way worse liar than me in our group. Huh? Oh, what? A worse one? <laughs> I'm talking about Maki. Huh? What? What? What do you mean Maki's a liar? Ah. Maki admitted it during the class trial, remember? Ryoma wanted her to show him his Moda video because he was looking for a reason to live. Well, you know. But that wasn't the whole story. Ryoma was blackmailing you, wasn't he, Maki? Huh? Blackmail? Um... Ryoma just so happened to discover Maki's true identity. So he used that to blackmail her. I bet he said something like, if you don't show me my motive video, I'll tell everyone who you really are. That's why Maki didn't want us to know she met with Ryoma. Which means... She wanted to keep her true identity a secret. That's why she kept quiet until the last minute. Okay, so what is it Hold then? Hold on! I've known Maki's true identity the whole time. Uh-oh, my god. What's going on? For a moment there, I thought Maki had disappeared. She moved so fast. Oh! <gasps> what is she? What is she? You know... This is an interesting turn of events. This is crazy. But, but would you really kill me in front of everyone? Obviously not. Hey, Maki, what the hell's going on? 
Yeah, you can probably snap my neck like a twig right now, but that's not your style. Y you would rather kill from the shadows. Oh, she's an assassin, I'm guessing. Right. Oh, I just called it! Assassin. Freaking called it! I mean, I. <laughs> it's not like it was exactly hard to deduce from what he said, but I called it. That's crazy. So she's not a child. She doesn't take care of the children? And there it is. A thin line that divides heaven and hell. Chapter 2 is now complete. Another one bites the dust. To be continued. And of course, that's where I'm going to end it. Who sat here for the whole thing? I got to give you a round of applause. All right. Props to you. We got some gloves. That's dark. And uh, with that, guys, please do smash like. And with that being said, I will see you scrubs in the next episode of Danganronpa. We got to continue this despair train. We're almost done with the last game. It's, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Bye now.